Hello everybody, um, what's up? We're not going to do the intro music today because I figured, what's, what's the purpose of that when we can just hop right into the stream, you know, we don't need, uh, we, we don't need aesthetic music, we need some actual solid gameplay, so I figured we'll, we'll skip the, uh, we'll skip the musical intro as much as I love the lo-fi copyright beats, they're a great time, but I think we need to move on, and we need to move on to bigger and better things, and by bigger and better things, I just mean we're going to play some Red Dead. So, anyway, um, with that being said, uh, hope you enjoy the stream, and uh, let's begin. Also, I fixed my graphical problems with my computer. Um, well, you know, you want to know what that was. Because I have a platform now to bitch about it, I will bitch about it. Um... Yeah, so basically, AMD drivers are by far, and you've probably he heard me bitch about them in past streams, but they're by far the worst drivers. Um, not even Intel drivers can compare to how ludicrously bad uh, a lot of the AMD driver re releases are. That's not to see, say um, NVIDIA has a clean track record. Uh, they've had a bunch of... Uh, you, very bad drivers that have led to uh, cards going bad, but uh, l comparing the numbers to AMD, let's just say there's a lot more drivers that AMD puts out that fucks with the cards. Like, if I could show you some of the pictures of AMD cards after driver installations, you'd think like a fucking house fire happened. I'm not even joking you. So, anyway. We're gonna do that. Also, let's, uh, I just realized how big this stuff is on my... <coughs> so we're going to make that stuff a little bit smaller. So you guys can still see it. But it'll be a little bit more out of the way. I really forget how big screen, like if you have it, if you have a stream in full screen... Uh, stuff is huge. It's massive. You don't need everything to be half the size of the screen. By the way, today's tax day. And, um... Uh, let me just say, fuck taxes. IRS, if you're, if you're tuning into the stream, fuck you. 87,000 agents. Really? Come on, seriously? We, you don't need that many. It's not, it's not your money. You didn't work for the money. I don't know, I don't know why we're, like, dude, they're spending our fucking tax dollars on more agents so they can get more tax dollars. That's the, that's the most fucked up part about it, in my opinion. But, no, I figured I'd bring that up, considering today is tax day, but... Anyway, I did do some off-stream ro off robbing, if you will. The, the Minecraft equivalent, or the Red Dead equivalent of a Minecraft kind of, you know, YouTuber moment. I did do some off-screen robbing. Um, I got about a thousand extra dollars. And, uh, yeah. I also collected from the father, which, if you don't know, from the last stream, that was basically the guy we gave... Uh, the money to to help build the house and I got like fifty dollars of interest out of that it's like dude that paid fucking better than that mission paid better than a lot of the actual main missions which is crazy but I figured I'd tell you guys I did finish up that side quest so it is done uh but for, as for the rest of the stuff that we're going to do in this stream, I'm thinking, 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 let's do the professor thing. Uh, we're going to go build a death contraption for the professor. We're going to go get a warrant so that he can test it out on somebody because I guess even in 1899, I guess you had to still get a death warrant. But... It'll be a little bit of a horse ride here, but with our new Nakoda, it should be a little bit faster because, I mean, it is the fastest horse in the game. 
At least this specific code of it. Why not use a presser mark too? Very good question. I, I'm glad you asked. Um, because I'm not autistic. That's why. <laughs> no, in all seriousness, um, the reason probably why I, I actually that'd be a fucking amazing mod if they just added the oppressor mark two into this game just for the shits and giggles. Right, and I'm Warren Buffett, the famous investor. Oh, you're a good man. A good man. Oh, buddy. Wait, hold on. I think I got it. <laughs> Yeah, if you just press up on the D-pad, he just reared off the horse. God damn, horse is crazy! God damn, horse is crazy. And, okay, you know what, dude? You tried to take Kerbert from me, I will take you away. Get, come, get over here. Go fuck yourself. I'm gonna take everything you have and everything you love. Where's your wife and children? Herbert meant Herbert means everything to me. You do not fuck with Herbert. You fuck with Herbert. You fuck with me. All right, this guy's getting fed to the gators, which is convenient because we're going over there, so we can make a pit stop. Let's see if we get wanted for kidnapping for someone who tried to steal our horse. Which actually that would make a lot of sense if uh. A stranger just came up and, you know, oh shit, he's kidnapping somebody. Like, that would make a lot of sense because they didn't know what happened before, right? It would be realistic. That's all I'm saying. Like, if somebody was like, oh shit, is that somebody that you kidnapped? Or, oh no, he just tried to rob my horse. I wish that was like an option. There's so many different dialogue options in Red Dead. It's so fucking crazy. Like, I was just thinking the other day, like, while I was... Giving cocaine gum in in a reach about every five minutes. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't have any stamina ton tonics. But I can give him cocaine gum? No fucking way. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Something tells me that's not good for the horse. But. Yeah, I gotta go resupply too. But. No, what I was thinking about the other day was essentially. Um. So I had killed a guy and I had accidentally killed his horse and a bunch of people kind of came up and witnessed that but they didn't see the dead guy. So I was wondering, you know, what if they made like, you know, in Red Dead 3, what if they made like a like a diffuse option where like you could just tell people, "Oh shit, this is my horse. He just fell over dead or somebody just shot my horse." Or, you know, they could you could diffuse a situation like that. I think that'd be pretty cool. Like, you know, situational situation specific you know, uh... Oh, d <laughs> Hey, Daniel, how we doing? Yeah, the gaslighting button, essentially. Yeah, this is my horse, man! He just fell over! I just... I would think that'd be a pretty cool feature to have. Oh, and there's bounty hunters. Let's not be a pussy. Hey, horse, you stay back. I don't want you dead. I'm gonna deal with these bounty hunters because it makes for good content. Yes, I am a criminal, Mr. Welsh. Thank you so much for joining today. How are you doing? All right, they got the dogs, the barking dogs. Hold on, I got the I got a clip for this. I got a clip for this. They got the barking dogs out. I got a sound bite for this. I I got the fucking perfect Somebody stop those barking dogs! Stop those barking dogs! <laughs> I'm, oh, dude, I'm sorry. I, ha I had to... Better Call Saul reference. I had to throw it in there. By the way, Better Call Saul Fever Post is going to be out um, probably next week at some point. Hope you guys enjoyed. Oh, barking dogs! Barking dogs. Nope. You're not doing that to me. Okay. Oh. Hey, 
they took they took my hat off. Do you know if drunk horse riding was illegal in 1899? Hold on, we can look this up real quick. Was drunk horse riding No such laws existed. No such laws existed. That's crazy. And the funny thing is, it probably didn't do any harm because most of the time, what happens when you fall off a horse? You're going like, what, 30 miles an hour? So you're probably going to bump your head a couple of times. Worst case scenario, you fracture like an ankle or something. There's no repercussion to riding a horse drunk. I mean, unless if you trample somebody. I guess that would be a re repercussion, but... We, we don't we don't we don't talk about that part dude I, I'm so grateful that drunk driving was made legal this year dude that's crazy that Ron DeSantis of Florida made drunk driving finally legal again thank God for Ron DeSantis man Ron DeSantis 2024 <laughs> <laughs> the gaslighting is fucking hilarious dude we have like a second viewer joining and it's like they hear yeah i love drunk driving yeah awesome and they just fucking leave <laughs> oh shit that's fucking hilarious Yeah, buddy, you're getting fed to the gators, I'm sorry to say. It's happening. Nobody fucks with Herbert. If you fuck, like I said, you fuck with Herbert, you fuck with me. You're getting, you're getting the gator treatment, my boy. Alright, real question is, where are the gators? I mean, I kind of know where they are, I just want to make sure that I'm on the right track here. No, I love this Nakoda. I mean, the Arabians are cool and all, but they're so fucking boring. Like, you either get the black one or you get the white one. Nobody wants a plain coat for a horse. It's just boring. No, the Nakoda is great because it has max speed. Yeah, you, you sacrifice a little bit on the acceleration. But then you get the cool blue Smurf horse. I should have really named this thing Smurf horse. But I named it after my cat instead, so... For the sentimental value, so that when the game ends, I can cry and shit myself when the horse dies. Oh shit, that's a good idea. Wait, if I drop him in the, if I, okay, if I drop him in the bridge and there's gators under the bridge, dude. All right, I see you. I see you. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm sorry. You're not gonna get free. All right, let's let's go to the other side just to make sure. Yeah, Herbert has to. He th <laughs> just got up and he's like, "Yeah, fuck it, we ball." That's why I like my boy. The other horses, I swear to God, the different there's horses in this game. They have different personalities. They have like three different personalities. I mean, you you can have one that's like o obedient as shit. You can have one that doesn't want to listen to you, or you have one that's just a fucking dumbass like this one, um, which kind of fits because my cat in real life is actually probably composed of only two brain cells in total. It, it makes a lot of sense actually. I have a feeling if you just name something Herbert, it just inherently becomes probably about 40 IQ points dumber. But, might just be a, a theory. Oh shit, I need Deadeye. I'm gonna cheese this shit. Somebody stop those barking dogs! Oh my god. Okay. The dogs are so fucking annoying. 
The dogs are so fucking annoying. I want a horse with PTSD so I can just scare him then so so he runs off quicker. Yeah, you can just you can just kind of go up behind him and be like boo, like a monotone ass voice and he just kicks the shit out of you. You get fucking death by a horse. That that'd be fucking hilarious. It'd be like the horse from Family Guy, the one with like the, like the uh, the googly eyes and shit, the the retarded horse. Like you know, hey Lois, I brought in a retarded horse, or I brought in a horse. What's wrong with him, Peter? Why are his eyes like that? Well, he's retarded. That's basically what you want. You just want a retarded, scared ass horse. <laughs> I love the M1899s. I know people say it doesn't fit with the Western theme, but I low key just kind of like being able to. I mean, hold up, look at this, man. Just, just to. It's like a, it's like having a, a machine gun in your pocket, in your two pockets actually. You don't. Slightly disabled, yeah. I think if you ask me. Like, uh, what's that guy's face? Shane Gillis? He says he has that, um, slightly disabled strength, or he calls it retarded strength. Um, I, I just tend to think that slightly disabled people tend to have, um, just a, a better strength strat. I think any disabled person has a boosted strength strat because any sort of fucking willpower to live with a disability, I can't do that shit, man. I mean, I know that shit sounds cheesy and whatever as fuck, but dude, having no legs and shit, I could not imagine it. Being like, pr like Lieutenant Dan, nah. That shit takes fucking power, dude. Fucking power, dude. Alright. Gators. Why did that one disappear? He did the fucking Houdini on me. Anything that isn't M1899 or whatever is just not good enough. I'm just saying, dude. Uh, pistol. Uh, okay, let's, 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 just, let's just compare. We're, we're, we're gonna do a bit of a firearm comparison. I mean, even with the fan... Because, I mean, you can see he's fanning the, the revolver. I mean, you need two of them to really exemplify the... I'm not exemplifying it right now. I'm not doing a very good job at it. But, yeah, that, that's insane. No other weapon does that. I think except the shotgun. The semi-auto. I beat up blind people to see if they if they have a secret superpower. You know, that's what I do. I give them a good old taste of, uh, I, I give them some shotgun therapy here. I, I, I gauge them to see if they, uh, if they take well to shotgun therapy. And if they do, I just rob their shit. And if they don't, I just give them money. That's usually my, uh, my Schrodinger test. I don't know what you'd quite call it. Schrodinger's blind man. Anyway, I, I gotta find a gator here. Keep setting out to find a gator, and I, oh, I, 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 I'm not. There we go. All right, buddy, time for you to meet your fate. Hungry, hungry gators. No, seriously, where the fuck are these gators? Gator. Gator. And that's how you do it. I just had to make sure he wasn't going to come back and 
He was looking at me weird. He was looking at me weird. Also, Arthur has this goofy ass run. I don't know if anybody else has, has noticed it. But whenever he's like in a swamp or something or, or, where you can't like run normally, he has this like goofy ass like waddle run. I mean, I can't blame him. I, I, I don't want to wade with gators either, but. Exactly. On the nose. I actually like a penguin. Anyway, we're going to go get this guy's death warrant. Or the death warrant for the professor so that he can electrocute somebody to death. And uh, I don't know if my negative honor is going to impact... There's probably like five pounds of mud in his shoes. Yeah, prob most likely. Most likely, like... You gotta think. Oh shit. Oh shit. This is not good. Okay, get off the horse, Arthur. Thank you. Get off the horse. Oh no, horsey. Sorry. Sorry. Didn't know that was gonna go to your head. Okay. Sorry. I killed a random person. Well, if you think about it, all these people are random people. I have no idea who, uh... Oh, shit. I actually feel bad. I, I can't loot this guy. I can't loot this guy. But... For example, I don't know who this this random this guy looks like fucking Lennon, dude. I, I don't know who this Lennon looking ass guy is. Uh, it's a stranger. I, a random person. This guy, I don't, looks like the looks like Walter White. I don't know. Who, I don't know who he is. I gotta start identifying pets more often after I kill them. I make for some good content. You know, we, we find some look-alikes. We just compare. Like, oh my god, dude, this one's literally fucking uh, Tony Soprano. Nah, there's nobody in 1899 who's fat enough to be Tony Soprano. I'm not even gonna lie. No, we'll go get this death warrant. Why is my screen tilted? Oh. Empty health core. That might explain it. Abe Lincoln lookalikes. Everyone looked like Abe Lincoln back then, though, because everybody wanted to... I guess everybody kind of wanted to emulate him because he was kind of a... Uh, prolific figure of his time. Like, even back then, Lincoln was seen as, like, some sort of god figure. But it makes sense that the game would be like, oh, yeah, we're going to make a couple of guys that look like Abe Lincoln and just throw them in here. I think it'd be funny if we met his son in the game. We just met Abe Lincoln's son randomly. He's like, yeah, my name's Abe Lincoln the second. I, I like doing Abe Lincoln. I, I don't know where I was going with that joke. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's easier to carry it in my hands. Now go fuck yourself. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please don't get me wanted again, because that's what happened last time I tried to do this mission. Alright. You, you know, I was thinking that they would... I was thinking that they would appreciate the, um... The, the new technology... Yeah, I, I was thinking that they would, you know, kind of look at the pistol and be like, oh, he's so cool, look at him, he has a new gun. But no, they have to be nerds about it and be like, um, but what about, what, what if you what if you shoot me with it? I don't want to get shot with it. Like, imagine being that nerdy to, like, you know, want to preserve your own self-being. Like, imagine that. Like, that's so fucking crazy to me. I'm sorry, that was, like, that was some unhinged talk anyway.
Imagine wanting to imagine wanting to keep yourself in a, in a imagine wanting to keep yourself safe. Wait, what? Okay, I guess we aren't getting the death warrant. What the fuck was that? I thought I had the situation defused. I guess not. Listen, guys, we can talk about this. We can talk. Ab I just want to talk. I just, I just, I just want to talk. I just want to talk. I just want to shoot you. Dude, okay. Oh, there we go. I don't know why I wasn't able to shoot there. Pick up the head. Mister, you're, you're driving... <laughs> you're driving with an alcohol level to quadruple the legal limit. Nah, that's crazy. Um, sir, I, I don't think... I don't think you should be, um... I don't think you should be trying... I don't think you should be drowning the, um... I, I don't think you should be drowning, uh, babies in, uh, in the aquarium pool. I don't think you should be doing that. I, I think that's I think I think that's bad for the babies. I don't I don't like that. Did I just say aquarium pool? I don't, aquariums don't have pools. They have tanks. I'm sorry. You shouldn't you shouldn't be dunking babies in in, in the shark tank. It's not nice. Okay, and we have next to okay, we have high velocity. And that's it. We have high velocity. So we have like 300 more rounds to go through. I can't do shit and you you're right, dude. I can't I can't smoke my blunts. I can't fucking I can't drive with 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 with, with a fucking bottle in my hands. I can't, you know, I can't shoot a police officer. Like what the fuck, man? Like what well, what kind of city is this? You know, Chicago lets you do it. Chicago? Not here. What the fuck? <laughs> Sir, could you stop throwing babies into the gorilla cage? Um, sir, I don't think it's I don't think it's right, dude. I I think Harambe is getting kind of agitated. You're, you're you're staring at him and you're throwing babies into the cage. I think he might. Be... I didn't know gorillas take staring as a sign of aggression like cats do. That was the thing I learned like last week. I was surprised I didn't know that, but yeah, apparently they take staring as like some sort of sign of aggression. They're exactly like us. They're literally us, man. They're literally us. Give me a sec. Let me take a. Let me take a rip from my uh, medical pen here, and you know, medicate myself up a little bit for the for the stream. But I'll continue. Uh, I'll continue chatting with the stream here. Just give me a second. There's not going to be gameplay for you know a couple minutes while I toke up, if you will. Last time I was at Niagara Falls, the toddlers asked me to throw them off, and it was not my fault. Yeah, the voices in your head, man. The voices in your head telling you to throw the toddlers off Niagara Falls. They were just, you know, you had to take priority. They, they were asking you to do something. You had to oblige. They were they were saying, please, the voice is in your head, and you had to say yes. That's all you have to say to the authorities. And the second guy just fucking left. Dude, I swear to God, somebody's going to clip one of these fucking streams, and they're going to clip me saying, um, yeah, I, I, I'm throwing toddlers off the Niagara Falls. What? And, and they're going to clip me, and it's going to be, like, viral or something in, you know, five years' time when I have, like, you know, half a million subscribers or something it's gonna be brought back up um well actually um you said you wanted to throw babies off the side of niagara falls <laughs> like dude um actually um i saw this uh I saw this one video of uh, Bull TM, and basically what he was doing was uh, he was kind of just talking, like, he was talking a lot of crazy talk, man. He was, like, saying shit that I, I don't agree with, man. Like, it was, like, crazy. I 
I'm never ever gonna be a fan of his again. <laughs> I'm so I don't have to do my Carl, my signature Carl impression. Ain't no way you're making it to dude, they're gonna look at my YouTube channel. It's been it's probably been done already. I've applied for jobs, and I guarantee you they look at my username and like they or they look at my uh email correlated with my username or whatever. And they'll deduct from it, like, oh, yeah, this guy's, like, clin clinically insane because of the videos I put up. It's like, <laughs> yeah, that's kind of why I think I'm kind of stuck to doing YouTube, you know what I mean? Like, you know, I, I've, like, I, I wouldn't mind doing, you know, normal shit, don't get me wrong. But I just think now with, like, the amount of uh, stuff I have on my YouTube channel, there's no way a sane employer is hiring me. It's going to be, like, some fucking california upstart you know youtube video or like you know team 10 house sort of thing that i'm gonna get employed you know, you know what i mean it's not gonna be a normal it's not it's not gonna be a normal gig whatever i end up actually doing with, with you know but i hope this youtube thing takes off i really do i've been doing it for the past uh six years now i had a first channel and then i made this channel like you know five years ago so yeah I've just been kind of getting back on there and grinding away at it just to kind of see what people like, what people don't like, and just to see if my kind of content still can stay relevant, which I guess it does. Yeah, you don't usually get a job when you get an email called Fortnite Ball 69. Fortnite Kanye Ball. Wait, where, what the fuck is that Kanye East rap? Hold on, we gotta look up some... Dude. Let's react to some Kanye e straps while I smoke up here real quick. This will be a vibe. K Kanye e strap. This is going to be a fucking vibe. Fortnite balls. Yeah, there we go. I'm sorry, you just reminded me of... Here, okay, this is this, this guy. This guy is fucking perfect. I'm sorry. This guy is a godsend from, like, heaven. Alright. Now, we're introducing Fortnite balls. Wait, where the fuck... Oh, device not connected. Oh, that's the that's the stream. I want I want I I want that one. There we go. There's Fort there's there's Mr. Fortnite balls, or in other words, Kanye East. Painters. Yo. He just reads and chat and raps off of it. You know that's what it is. Dancing this Rayleigh's EDP lights, kid. <laughs> I was the dead one. Hi, sussy blue balls. Who is in Paris? Hey, yo, he back. I like you, Baka sussy. I love hot cocoa. Who's in Paris? Kirby, nigga. Who's in Paris? Hungry man, the hungry. I got peg. Yo, mama, dead. Rosa Parks, like my sister, nigga. What's up, little boy? Little Mosey is the best. Tick tock Bukako. I eat EDP, I'm white, lyrical suicide, nigga, give me a skeleton, A-I-O-P-M, Fortnite balls, I'm gay, I like boys, I kidnap autistic kids, <laughs> I'm <laughs> I'm s- oh. <laughs> He goes about rapping about kidnapping autistic kids to rapping about lemon shrimp. I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright, no, I just had to showcase Mr. Mr. East's lyrical talent. He is one of the- one of the geniuses of our time. One of the geniuses of our time, truly. And, I, and, you know, he needs to get picked up by, like, Universal or something. He needs to get picked up by a big label, man. I swear to God. The man is going places. I mean, he's brothers with the one and only Kanye West. I mean, that's a start right there. I'm sorry. I'm just fawning over a guy that I think was hilarious and nobody thinks is funny anymore, probably. The guy was a big old meme, like, a couple years ago. And I don't know why. There are just some memes that I still find hilarious. Which is why I, I still use Vine Boom sound effects. It's not because I'm out of touch or anything, it's just because my humor is that out of whack. 
So I guess you could say out of touch then. He's getting a slave contract at Maxima. <laughs> nah. <laughs> He's getting a... Nah. <laughs> Ain't no way. Close in, fellas. Um, guys, we have to stop the we have to get we have to stop the guy who's trying to kill everybody. He's not he he's he's destroying the entire town. <laughs> it does go pretty hard on mute. Not gonna lie. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Yeah, it, it, uh, you know, yeah, it, mute dude, it just goes so hard, you know. Better yet, you put, uh, you put fucking Kanye West's good morning over that shit, and it's even more fire. You should, better yet, just, just put an entirely different song over the video, it's automatically better. I just have the same exact video, just put a different song over it. Um, actually, um, killing poli- um, killing police officers who are just trying to do their job is, um, um, actually, I'm sorry, I'm just way too focused right now on beaming these guys. Oh, oh my god, wait, there was two of them over Okay, I guess there was like two of them over there, because that was like fucking two shots. I was only expecting one guy to be over there, no, I guess there was probably two. They really stopped me now, but we'll respawn, we'll collect our, uh, we'll collect some ammo, we'll collect some, some goods from the store. Get her boy all nice and trimmed up here, I guess, because, you know, I do care about, uh, you, you, you know, that sort of thing for some reason. I don't know, you gotta keep the sideburns, you gotta keep the sideburns immaculate. I'm just saying. You're not doing sideburns if you're not, if you're, if you're not keeping them proper. So, we'll get that all done, and we'll do a main mission, because why not? Seems like all the uh, side missions here are fucked up because I have an, a like a ridiculously large bounty. So we'll do a Dutch, Mr. Dutch mission, and uh, figure out what he wants. Actually, we could do Charles. Yeah, let's do Charles after. I don't think Charles relies on there being a large bounty or whatever. Where's Dutch while you're doing this? Yeah, he's probably um, he's probably taking a shit or something in the bar. I don't know. Quite honestly, I've been... Shout out to Charles, quite honestly. His his missions never rely on there being, you know, bounties or anything. You Actually, that's that's one of the fun facts. You can go into a fucking Charles mission, have a wanted level, and uh, some of the real-time cutscenes will get fucked up because, you know, the police are shooting at you and Charles, so it ends up looking like... Uh, I can't. I couldn't tell you what it ends up. Look, it looks it ends up looking like a live leak video. That's what it ends up looking like. And let me tell you, dude, live leak videos—they're never pretty. Hello, second viewer. We're talking about live leak. How are you? Hope you're doing well today. Sorry, I just. Got my AC turned on there, you know. Running this game at fucking ultra settings, 200 FPS, it does make your computer a bit of a space heater. But we'll cut her hair. Let's see if we can even do a cut right now. I think we can. Trim. Chin. Yeah, we can trim that down. Looking like Jay Schlatt right now. Jay Schlatt if he was Arthur Martin. No, literally Jay Schlatt if he was a cowboy. 
Nah, but we'll go do this Charles mission. Char Charles? Charles? Charles mission. Sorry, I, I, I say words, and then I'll hear myself kind of after, after I say the words. And I'll be like, did I actually just say that? Like that? Did I actually just sound like I had a stroke? Most of the time, the answer is usually yes. Actually, let's let's get another weapon out just in case we need more ammo. We shouldn't. It's a funny it's a funny little mission if I can remember right. But just in case we need the guns, we have the guns. Oh, it's up here. Okay. Yeah, shout out to Charles. Big Charles doing big things over here in Sandini. My favorite cutscene, I think, is in here. My most favorite cutscene in this game is in here. Just wait until you see it work. It's very progressive. Well, I'm not so very sure how I feel about progression. I think that it's Greek. Can I just say how good this game also looks? Even for, like, being a game from 2018, six years ago. Excuse me. Mr. Chatternay, couldn't you have painted some drawers on her? Madame, I paint her in her natural state, as she was and will be in paradise. There's nothing natural about that. Clothes are civilization, repression, death. To be naked is to be free. Oh, hey, yo, it's Senator Armstrong. How are we doing, Mr. Armstrong? How are we doing, Mr. Nano Machine's son? How Hope you're doing well today. Because I'll finally be able to put a name to the viewer. Henry, is that your behind? Why would you be shown it to that man? That's my model. As nude as the day she was born. Stop looking at my husband's buttocks. Stop looking at my mama. Well, maybe she. I like that smile Arthur has. It's like that devious, like, you know, whatever smile you get when you fucking stole cookies out of the cookie jar. I like that fucking smile. I'm sorry. That just always makes my day. Like whenever I see that, that's why I like this mission so much. Now we get the. Oh shit! Now we get the. Okay, this guy has moves. This guy. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Town boy can fight. Town boy can fight. Never mind. He could. He, I guess he couldn't fight against a, another town boy. Oh my god! I'm getting double. I'm getting double teamed. I'm getting. I'm getting. I'm getting. I'm getting. I'm getting bruised over here. Oh! Alright, I, I need my I need my cowboy hat. I, I need it. Arthur really is a mischievous little guy. He he's a mischievous little a little rusgrat. Rusgrat? Rugrat. I don't fucking I've always I've always said either one because my mother always, you know, said either one, so Either way, he is a mischievous, silly little man. In a world that does not appreciate silly little men. <coughs> so let's follow Charles out, see what he wants. I thought I was a fraud. You are a fraud. You pretend to make art so you can get pussy. Which, I mean, fair enough. It's a fair enough grind. But, hey, yo, Charles, let me in on the secrets. How do you do it? How do you masquerade as an artist? No, I think that's why a lot of people became artists, you know, they, they became an artist because they, you know, at the time it was seen as like some sort of complex, prestigious thing to do. And, um, you know, so people would naturally just flock to people in prestigious positions. That's why like Da Vinci had like fucking five wives or whatever it was. Oh, hey, it's Facer, it's the Mark's Pizzeria guy. 
It's the Mark's Pizzeria guy. Holy shit. Holy shit. It's the Mark's Pizzeria guy. I fucking love you, dude. How about that prick's face when he saw Mark's Pizzeria? No, we're just having a fun, chill little stream here, you know, kind of just talking about random subjects and, uh, yeah, like artists, yeah, now, nowadays, artists rack 5k a month for furry art and they're starving, that's how it should be, quite honestly, I agree, dude, there's no way fur, furry artists need, like, $10,000 a month. There's no way, man. I'm just saying, like, you deserve to be able to make a living off of what you do. But at the same time, you have to also balance it out with what you provide to society. And when all you provide to society is, um, how do I say this um, in a stream-friendly way? Um, I'm, I'm not going to say what, but, you know, just to provide that, it's just not, it just doesn't equal out because they expect more pay. Um... For, uh, they, they just, they expect more pay for basically, uh, the same amount of work. It's like, why? You're just making furry art. You're just making whatever. I don't know. Maybe it's just my stupid opinion. Somebody could probably give me a more educated opinion. Um, they'd probably convince me either way, but it's kind of my shitty take on it. I have no idea why the video blew up. I stole it from a Discord group chat. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, that's how a lot of things come to be. Um, I'm, I only make my own stuff because I didn't want to be, like, you know, the guy that was just known for, like, an Instagram re-upload. But, no, if you're the Mark's Pizzeria guy, you are, like, the... Because, dude, the Game Grumps reacted to you. Fucking Psychic Pebbles reacted to your fucking video. Um, I, I think Psychic, Pe Psychic Pebbles reacted to your video. Like, that's got to be a badge of honor right there. And you only have, like, one of those videos, so, I mean, dude, in my book, if you only have, like, one stolen video. I do believe Psychic Pebbles reacted to Mark's Pizzeria, or unless if it was, I can't, I can't remember, but one of them did. But it was fucking hilarious. I, one of the guys off of Zach's channel. You would not like my videos, Kuyori. I do nothing but credit the people I use my content from. Just look at my recent video. All the all the fucking uh, character, like all character art I used, I cr I credited that shit just because I didn't need some deviant art guy coming up to me and like, hey, um, you do realize you stole that from me, right? It's just good practice to be like, hey, yo, it's done by this guy, so you know, whatever. But I think it was on YouTube. Just look up uh. Zach reacts to Mark's Pizzeria, something like that. It's gotta be there. Because I saw it on either one of his streams or something. Somebody's gotta have clipped it. I think somebody paid like five bucks to have him react to it or something. I, dude, it was like. It was fucking hilarious. That's where I got. That's where I learned about the video from. And then when I saw you subscribe to my channel, I was like, holy shit, it's the Mark's Pizzeria guy. Oh my god. Nah, but, uh, I'm just saying, though, uh, DeviantArt artists, please don't take it seriously, please don't take it personally, if I use your character art for videos, for example, like the one I, like the ones I used recently for, uh, the Breaking Bad videos, uh, please take it as a badge of honor, um, one, I, I, I do credit you guys, but two, um, I do admire the work you do because it's a lot. It's funny work. Actually, for example, I think if I can, let's let's do a bit of a video watch party so I can show you what I'm talking about. Let's do a bit of a video watch party. We'll watch my most recent video here. Who by the way, Jesse? by the way, thank you for uh, the 359 views already. That's insane. That's like the most views my videos have gotten in under a day. So that's that's just batshit insane. If I get three wishes from a genie, I'd stop period cramps, make childbirth less painful, and make all we all men respect women. I'm six foot five and two hundred forty six pounds, by the way. 
You know, fair enough. I was just talking to a, uh, I was just talking to a girl the other day, and I was about to bring up the fact, like, she was like, you, you were talking about, oh, who's better, a man or a woman, you know, just out of a joke. And I'm like, well, at least you guys don't, at least we don't bleed from our balls. Something like that. But, yeah, no, fucking period cramps, dude. Honestly, like, that's where the real gender inequality is. Like, the gender pay gap, that's a fucking myth. But the period cramps, dude, remove those from the game, dude. Put it, put out a fucking hot fix or something. Put out, like, a fucking earth hot fix for humans. Make the period cramps and shit stop. But, yeah, level the playing field. But, uh, yeah, make make men respect women. Quite honestly, um, the only thing women did wrong was Queen Elizabeth. That's the only thing that women ever did wrong. Queen Elizabeth, quite honestly. But anyway, I'm going to stop trashing the British. We'll watch this video just so I can show you what character I'm talking about here. I can't remember the channel because I don't... I, I don't know where they were streaming, but it was, like, a Zach reacts to, and it was, like, on stream. Like, he got donated, like, $5 to react to it. But, dude, if I could tell you what it was, I would I would link it to you right now, because I can usually link videos, you know. But, <laughs> dude, it's been probably about a year since I, uh, since I saw the video, so I can't, I can't even remember what the guy's name was who posted the, uh, the VOD. Yeah, that's the only thing humanity did wrong, basically. You know, if England could just be taken off the map. Don't search too long for it. I'm not going to make you go on a wild goose chase, just in case if it doesn't actually turn out to be there. Um, I don't... I, I actually put it like this. So I don't get your hopes up. Because I probably did, because Psychic, Psychic Pebbles is a fucking prolific guy. I'm like 95% sure I remember the guy, you know, I, I remember watching that. But I don't, I you know, on the off chance that, you know, it was somebody else, because I'm pretty sure a lot of other guys have that nerdy-ass nasally voice that Zach does. Um, on the off chance that it wasn't, I don't want to get your hopes up. I don't want to, you know, be the bearer of bad news, so... Take it as it doesn't exist until you find it. That's all I'm gonna say. Take it as it just doesn't exist. Anyway, we'll we'll watch this video here. We'll Who is this Jesse Pigman to you? Yeah, that, oh. Yeah, that this guy, hold on. That guy. And uh, I think we have another one here. This one, this one was fucking hilarious. We have that one. So I just want—I just wanted to make sure I credited all my, all the people who. They're all in the, the description, but. Oh shit! Glorb came out with a new video. Y'all don't know who Glorb is. Essentially, one of the best, uh, one of the best producers to this day. I mean, he makes some bang. He he, he makes a lot of fucking SpongeBob bangers. I don't. You probably know who Glorb is. I mean, everyone who knows who fucking Glorb is. But he makes a lot of those fucking SpongeBob AI rap videos. I gotta suggest those real quick. But anyway, we'll go back to Red Dead. I don't want to keep you guys waiting for uh, too too long here. How about that prick's face when he saw the gut? How, how, how about how about that how about that prick's face when he saw the gut? Hey PTSD, how you doing? You remind me of my favorite pop smoke song. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, but you do. You remind me of my favorite pop smoke song. Probably the only one that everyone knows him for. But now, how you doing, PTSD? Hope your name is an indicative of your, uh... This is some black magic satanic shit. I thought it was more greaseball shit than anything, but... 
Black Magic shit. I don't know why I keep unpausing the game. But Black Magic shit works just as well. Black ta black Satanic shit. Black, black Satanic? Black Ma- Fuck, I can't talk. I'm having a stroke, guys. Um, but... No, we're just playing some Red Dead chilling, talking about random shit. You know, the usual. But... Is that Carl Tucking Cook? I, I, dude, I always have to look up these random ass names because you never know when they're actually like real people. Carl Tucking Cook. Tucking Cook. This this guy's got to be. A, there's no way somebody didn't name their. No, this dude is literally. There, it's it's just a random name. It's just a random. It's just a random name. I can't say I'm. I'm I can't say I'm. Not surprised. I, I I actually am. Oh wait, no wait, wait wait wait. No, I know I know who you're talking about. You're talking about my uh, my fucking picture in the top left. Yeah, it's 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 um Carl uh, it's Carl Truckerson. Uh, yeah, it's Carl Truckerson. I figured uh, I'd get one of his constipated looking faces up there on the screen, and it would kind of just match whatever emotion I'm going through at that given moment. Because if I'm being honest, that face he usually does on air is pretty much like what everybody thinks of when they think of putting all the facial emotions together. That's what Tucker Carlson looks like there. So I figured why not use that just to, um, you know, kind of cover all the ranges of emotions for my stream. Instead of needing an expensive face cam, we just use a free PNG instead. It's quite convenient, so... Anyway, we'll continue talking to Charles here. But yeah, just to answer your question, it is Mr. Carl Truckerson. I hate how French people talk to women. My little angel! My little bird! It's me! I'm sorry, maybe maybe I'm just being jaded, but I cannot imagine talking to a girl like that. I cannot talk, I cannot imagine talking to a girl like that. Dude, you'd be looked at, you'd be like called Redditor. Like if you actually said that to a girl, you'd be looked at and you'd be fucking called, what are you, like some kind of Redditor? Like, do you just tip your hat or every, anything all day? Like, that's like, that's what you'd be get called, but not that I have any problem with it, because that kind of talk is kind of cringe. I mean, use something a little bit more, um, use, use some lines that have a little bit more pizzazz to them. I don't know, like, uh, hey, uh, actually, I'm not going to use that pickup line. Never mind. I'm not going to say that pickup line. Now, there's a couple of pickup lines I know that would probably, you know, turn a couple of heads for all the wrong reasons. Fucked up ones are the only ones I know because I actually don't try to use pickup lines. But it's funny because every so often you'll walk up to somebody and be like, "Hey, you know," and you'll you'll say one of those. Yeah, I'm ri I'm risen up varsity athletes, man. Totally, I'm risen up those those varsity athletes. Totally. I got to tell you though, my friend Tony, you know, he was always sitting in the back locker room. Mr. Tony, uh, what was his name? His last name was. S soprano? I can't remember what his name was, but yeah, Mr. S soprano, he was always sitting in the back locker room crying and, you know, I would always kind of smell this faint stench of shit. So I always thought he was like crying and shitting himself, you know, every time that like we would play a game, he would just never show up. I just, I don't think he ever had the makings of a varsity athlete. I don't think Mr. I don't think Mr. Soprano ever had the makings of a varsity athlete. True story, actually. True story. He was smoking his shunt, he didn't shit himself. <laughs> well, okay, he he's smoking his shunt. He didn't he, he didn't he didn't shit himself. Is a shunt like a combination between a blunt and, and a turd? I'm beginning like 
I'm, I, I, I know it's probably something totally different, but that's what it sounds like it would be. A shunt. A blurt? What's a blurt? That sounds like some fucking Sesame Street character. What the fuck is a blurt? Hey, blurt! What's up, blurt? Alright, let's try this again without unholstering our pistols. Because I think that was our, our problem next time. Let's just see if we can... I'm representing the inventor of a humane execution machine, an electric chair. By the way, the uh, game volume is okay for you guys, right? To demonstrate his invention here. Ah, I'm familiar with the man and his work. Tell you what, I'll give you a Don't call. gaslight me. Don't get Koyori, don't gaslight. Fees. Fuck, I'm going to call from, like, <coughs> stage four terminal lung cancer. Walter White shit, no. Um, don't gaslight me. Hey, look, this will save you money in the long run. And, uh... You don't want cobweb... Dude, the cob... Uh, dude, the cobweb sh stat in Red Dead? I can't believe how much that impacts your ability to unholster your gun. It's crazy they even added the cobweb stat in the first place. Okay. Christopher! He had an intervention from Christopher about smoking the shunts. Then he lit up outside the room and he really could Riding that high. Hypocrite. <laughs> I swear to God. There are two different kinds of Sopranos fans. There are, there are Sopranos fans who have watched the show probably about six or seven times. Know every single line from the show. And then can kind of make their own little jokes from those lines like this guy can. And then there are just normal people who watch the show, and we're like, why the fuck did it cut the black at the end? <laughs> and I think I'm just somewhere in between. I don't know. There's a third type? There's a third type. What's the third type? Actually, educate me. You're more knowledgeable about the Sopranos fan base, probably. Come on, educate me. So let me, let me see what it is. Oh, shit. Sorry, I just dropped something there. God, if I had a face cam, this shit would be fucking hilarious. It's like trying to watch somebody that has, like, stage 2 dementia trying to navigate their surroundings. But no, I'm curious to see what this third type is. That's why I'm still waiting for uh, this guy's response. This guy's blue balling me. He really is. This guy's like fucking blue balling me on this response. I should, I should put some Jeopardy me. Oh, yeah, he's uh, he's he, he really is. He's edging me. I, I prefer blue balling, but you know, just because it's more of a it's it's more of a, a a word that I can kind of put my own emphasis, like you know. Edging, edging just kind of inherently sounds like a nerdy, he's edging, but blue ball, you can say blue ball, and, you know, it kind of sounds like prestige, not prestigious, but, you know, it sounds a little bit less nerdy than edging. Yeah, at this point, we're just talking about the differences in between words, like, what the fuck is this stream? Nah, it's me, bro, my kitchen's open, and... I can see the TV while I'm in it. Dude, that's the best way to watch any sort of TV show. Real talk. Like, one more minute here, and then we'll get back to the game. Oh. I was going to tell a genuine, heartfelt story about, you know, my mother and I, you know, watching shows while she was cooking. But, you know, that works, too. Gas explosions work, too. You know, <laughs> funny story, actually. Um... My, my house almost burned down because somebody left the knob on on the stove and uh, pressure built up, built up, built up. I'm really lucky I didn't turn on the lights. I saw the stove knob that was turned like halfway over. I turned the shit like over and the fucking entire hood of the kitchen just exploded with flame, dude. And then eventually like the 
I'm thankful the fire just went out on its own somehow, but dude, that was fucking insane. Like the entire like wall of the kitchen was on fire. I think the fireproofing was what saved my ass. I know you don't want to hear about knobs. I know. I, I I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll stop talking about knobs. Gay as hell, I know. I'm sorry, I'll stop talking about knobs. I only talk about dicks, penises, and... Uh, yeah, dicks, penises, gonads, testes. <laughs> Why did I read that like Junior? Jesus. 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 No, we're, we're gonna be talking about the balls. We're gonna be talking about the shaft. We're gonna be certainly talking about... I can't think of another part. We're gonna be. I, I can't think of another part of the penis. I can't think of another part of the penis. Monsieur. Yeah, we just talk about the other seventy percent of water. That's you know, think about it like that. Who's speaking here? <laughs> Somebody, dude, is literally Uncle Junior. I'm starting to think that PTSD is like a Junior alt account. He's like a Junior Soprano alt account, dude. He, do he doesn't want to hear about the gay shit. He's like, he he's, he's having like dementia right now. I'm starting to think that PTSD is actually just Junior. He's literally just Junior. Continue the lithium. All right, let's go see what the prof. Oh, let's go see what the professor has for us. They took all my money. They took all my money. Hey, will you help a fella out? Mm. Should I or should I steal his money? I'll let the, I'll let the uh, chat vote on this. Should I should I uh, help him or should I take his money? Steal. The only valid option. Oh! Right up into the pole. <laughs> Dude, he, yeah, certified, sobered up real quick. Nah, I punched him and his face went straight into that pole. Oh, trample. Oh. I wasn't gonna actually kill him, but... Oh. He's gone now. I guess he got up and walked away. Unfortunate. Alright, yeah, let's, uh... Let's equip some... Or let's get some... Some ammo and shit. What is the problem here? What is the problem here? Shut the fuck up, lady. Shut the fuck up! No, I won't stop this nonsense. How about... How about you give me your money? Oh, motherfucker. Guys, I just wanted to use the gun shop. I just wanted to rob the lady and use the gun shop. What's the matter with that? Okay, my horse is certified running away right now. Personally, I wouldn't take that level of disrespect from her. Yeah, dude. Personally, she didn't even give up her shit. Like, at the end of the day, she didn't even give up her shit. Like, I, I, I held her. I, I was choking the shit out of her. She didn't even give up her money. How disrespectful. Imagine wanting to keep your own stuff. Alright, horsey. Where the fuck are you? I just uploaded my first Soprano Sphere of Host. I can already feel the money printing. 
Wait, no way. I gotta react to this. PTSD. Link that shit. Link that shit. Please. God, please link that shit. I think your horse is on the roof. I'm starting to think so too. But now we'll we'll do a watch party of this guy's um this guy's fever post and we'll kinda we'll kinda judge it as I'm the father I'm the father of fever posts. Not really, but you know. Seeing as I did I guess come up with the concept, I'll kinda judge it and see if it's worthy of the fever post name. I could kinda just I could probably just look up your your name, couldn't I? Yeah, I probably could. Give me a second. Let me look up your name. See if that brings it up. Now you gotta link that shit, because I can't find it. I looked up Soprano's Fever post. Can't find it. Can't find it. Can't get through the door, man. Can't get through the door, man. Door stuck. Door stuck. No, no. But link that fucking video, dude. I want to see it. If you actually uploaded a fever post, man, link that shit. I'll actually shout it out. No lie. You know, to you know the few people who will actually, you know, look at my community posts. They'll see that shit, and I'll go over to your channel. So, yeah, link that shit. We'll do a watch party and, you know, get some drinks. We'll get some, get some smokes. I don't fucking care. That'd be awesome, I think. It's actually cool to think that, you know, my posts have inspired other people to make similar shit. So, by all means, please link that shit, man. Or actually, I don't know if you can link shit in my chat. Can I? Just send me your, um, just send me your channel name. Or actually, no, that is your channel name. How the, why can't I go into your channel from here? It's so weird. Why can't I go into your channel from the chat? Um, are you subscribed to my channel? Cause I can go if you if you're subscribed to my channel, I, I can go into my YouTube studio and find you that way. I'm sorry, guys. I want to make sure this guy gets, you know, the, the coverage he deserves for contributing to our cause. Where is this guy? Have you commented on any one of my videos or? There's gotta be one here from from you, man. PTSD, where's PTSD? Maybe dashboard, recent subscribers. Oh, PTSD. Awesome. Dude, you are a godsend. Let's fucking go! It has the filter! It, dude, okay, we're fucking locked and loaded on this shit right now. Dude, ha dude has it down already, I can tell you that. Hold on. We, we got, I, I gotta show you this. The guy's channel name... P hold on. The guy's channel name is PTSD. Uh, bu 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 scene 2. I'm so proud of you. I am so proud of you. Hold on, let me skip to my... There we go. I'm not hungry. <laughs> <laughs> that face when he saw the guy. <laughs> that face when he saw the guy. <laughs> that face when he saw the guy. I'm not hungry. <laughs> you mind if I sit here while No, that was fucking amazing. Oh my god, dude. I laughed so hard it gave me a headache. The only thing I would ever suggest for your future videos is what I do. I don't know if you have DaVinci, uh, DaVinci Resolve. 
Um, I usually stretch out my uh, my videos so they're a little bit funnier. You know, you can just add that little bit of stretch to it. Um, you can do that through uh, the scaling feature. You just go down uh, under transform. You just scroll down to that page, and it's it's right there. It's right there. So, but it's your own artistic decision, really. And as it is, that video is fucking hilarious. And now, I think I'm gonna post a. I'm gonna get a community post out so you can actually. Um, so you can actually receive some views. So hold on, let me put out a community post for you, my boy. Get everybody over there. Oh, okay. That's my own stream. I don't know why I clicked on that. All right, um, check out check out PTSD's first fever post. All right, and we can Oh, bro, I also love brain rot. Brain rot is my favorite kind of content, quite honestly. Give me one second. I'm I'm going to look at the other chats here. I'm just going to link the guy's video. I'm just trying to find it. There it is. We get that, copy that. View the channel, community, and we just we just post that. One more second. There we go. Go check it out. Go check my community tab out right there. You should see your video. Right there. I don't know how you feel about that because my channel is not that big, but uh, there's your there's your shout out of recommendation. So alongside my video, which I mean, if I'm being honest, a lot more than three people see my community posts, even though you know you only get like three likes, whatever. More people tend to see it, so hopefully you'll get. You know, 10, 20, 30 views. I don't know. It'll be the seed that plants your, your Sopranos. Um, it'll be the seed that plants your Sopranos schizo post, fever post journey. So those social engineering class, classes really did a wonder. Yes, they did. Did I watch UFC 300? No, I did not. Educate me. Which one won? Was it The Undertaker or was it The Miz? No, I'm just kidding. I know that's WWE, but I know it's WWE. I'm not stupid. I'm just retarded. Help, please. How about, buddy, you don't get help? Oh, no. Oh no. Give him 50 15% every time you do something successful for that community post. And anyway, that's not the way YouTube works. None of us smaller YouTubers make any money. We have to like have a thousand subscribers on our channel and what is it? Something ridiculous like 4,000, 5,000 watch hours. It's fucking insane how much you need to do to get on YouTube's monetization. And the thing is, they already make money off of your videos anyway. 
like every time you post to your your channel like they they put po they'll put ads on your video anyway you just won't make money off of them and they just keep raising the the regulation so that you know less and less people can actually get in I mean, I'm chasing that monetization figure just so I can, you know, put ads at the, or, you know, make money at, on the existing ads at the beginning of my video. Because if I'm being honest, tons of people have probably, you support the, hey, thank you for, for supporting the bada bing. Appreciate it. But, um. When you say bada bing, you mean Borco? I'm so, I'm confused. Like, how how do you guys like address each other? Like, I know there's like a fucking YouTube Sopranos family. You know, there's like there's Borco, there's fucking Slop Skull, there's me now, but I don't know who else is in the Sopranos YouTube family lineage. The bada bing, you just support the bada bing. You just so let me ask a question then. Do you give the money to the ladies of the bada bing? Or do you, do you, like how how does the support actually work? I'm, I'm just asking. You know, do you, do you give the financial support to the ladies, or because that's the real question? And are they is this the compensation in forms of one dollar bills, or are are they crumpled up? Are they you know I'm not I'm not gonna go further than that. I'm not gonna go further than that. You know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. But. You get paid. That's all I need to know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry. I'm encroaching on your private life and the bada bing. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm being... That wasn't even really that... F <laughs> what a fucking ball I did. Quite honestly. If somebody says, I get paid, that's all you need to know, they're not fucking around. It's like a white guy coming up to you and saying, Listen, bud, it's either my way or the highway. You know they're not fucking around. I'm curious. I asked this question to my Discord buddies the other day, but um, curious what your guys' thoughts are. What are some iconic white guy angry phrases? Because I know there's a couple. Like you know the like you know you know a guy is angry when they when when they use those when they use the phrase. You know what I mean? Like some white guy catchphrases, basically, is what I'm asking for. See you later, alligator. Dude, yeah, that one. See you later, alligator. And guarantee you, white guys, we, I, I don't know what it is. We white guys, we always have this thing. Like, like we, we, we go to sleep, right? And instantly, like, it, it's kind of, we, we start snoring in this cartoonish way. It's um comical, very. It's it's very comical. Like we just go, me 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 me. It's like this, um, genetic thing. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but... I guess we're going to roads to pick up our shit. I flow towards Pi sitting in... <laughs> I flow towards Pi sitting in window seats. Or window, or windows, window seats, window seals. Sorry, window seals. Sorry, the the fucking um, last letters of the final chat are always cut off by this stupid fucking emoji thing that they added. I I don't know why they did it. It's one of the most retarded features ever. But yeah, you, dude, that's I guarantee you, white guys, they always we always do that sort of shit. Like we float towards the pies in the window sills. Oh, and every time we begin to try to run, we make this, like, sound with our feet. It's like this cartoonish, like, um, running sound, almost. Only you can remove it. Oh, wait, can I remove it? 
I'm not going to try to remove it because it's going to take too long. It's going to be a fucking horrible. You're on thin. Oh, you're on thin ice, buddy. You're on thin ice, pal. You're on thin ice, buddy boy. Dude is just a non-stop white guy sentence generator. You should really work for the uh, the New York Times. See you later, PTSD. Arrivederci. Hope you had fun talking. Whatever. I mean, I know it's not that eventful of a stream, but hope you at least got some enjoyment out of the stuff we kind of watched and shit. I don't know. I just hope you enjoyed the stream. That's all I'm going to say. Newsflash, pal. Dude, you know you're cooked if, if somebody says that. Certified cooked. Cooked, toasted, and served on a plate. Yeah, I know I am. That's kind of why uh, I keep yapping. I am incredibly baked. That's why. That's that's where the yapping comes from. It's the origins of the yap. Crudite. I haven't. Isn't crudite the name of uh, the the fucking veggie trays and shit? Or like. Yeah, that. Oh shit, Herbert. No, Herbert, Herbert. 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 No! Dude! Fuck you! You fucked with my horse. And I'm all muddy now. I look like I just shit my pants. Dude. Literally me on exam day. <coughs> oh shit. Literally me on exam day. Shit all up and down my pants. I guess that's what I was trying to say. Go fuck yourself. You like dick and balls. I'll go wherever the hell I want. Wherever I please. Oh shit, Lauren Shack is over here too. Somewhere close. We can go to Lauren Shack. That's if there's even, uh, people to rob up there. I know it's been bugged this playthrough. Just like my horse. Like you said, it is in fact bugging. It is in fact bugging. Hey, you're okay, girl. Let me see if I can get up to level 4 horse bonding here. Herbert's kind of hungry. Here's here's the go to combo right here of horse of how to you know bond your horse fast. You give him a brush. Let's get you looking. You feed them if they need feeding. And, and then you give them and then you give them a couple of pats. You did real good. Oh yeah, totally. It, a video of flashing lights totally would not have anything bad happening within it. Let's go, girl. To totally. The implications of having a video with flashing lights, totally. Yeah. 
No seizures here. What in the hell? How about you go and, um, taste my repeater? Say hello to my little friend. Um, this is not good. Oh, okay, there was no say hello to my little friend. That was just them riding up on me and absolutely f dogging on my ass. I hope that didn't take away any of my money. That wasn't a normal bounty hunter thing, that was... A hundred and fifty dollars. Seriously? A hundred and... Are you taking a hundred and fifty dollars away from a hard-working man? No diddy? So you're saying that was equivalent to like a, a diddy kind of... A diddy kind of... Kind of event. Gotcha. What did diddy even do? I know what Diddy did. I just, I, I like saying what did Diddy do because it's fun to say. What did Diddy do? What did Diddy done do? I can't imagine downing a whole can of canned peas, man. I like peas. I can't imagine downing a whole fucking can of canned peas. Yeah, I already forgot too. Yeah, okay, yeah, they they basically diddied my ass. Instead of dogging on me, they were diddying on my ass. Let's see if the if the people are here. There we go. Or if it's gonna be another empty shack situation. You know, Herbert, I don't appreciate the disrespect. It seems like they're gone. Fun fact, though. If you want... Um, a free double-action revolver... It's under here. It's under this bed. All you have to do is, like, the, it'll give you a button prompt. But... I mean, to be quite honest, nobody wants a fucking double-action. Because you already... F you already have one. You get one at the beginning of the game. Oh, I didn't realize this. The double action is the coolest fucking revolver in the game. Why? Because it's the only one where you don't need to cock the trigger every time it, every time you shoot, or you don't need to cock the, uh, you don't need to cock the hammer every time you shoot it. You see, he doesn't even need to fan it. It's 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 a semi-automatic revolver, and I think that's fucking cool. Anyway, I'm sorry, I'm nerding out about guns. I just, I know modern revolvers have those mechanisms in them. You know, that'll make them semi-automatic, whatever. Yep. But back then, it wasn't a fucking guaranteed thing that you would have a semi-automatic revolver. Most of them, you have to cock the fucking hammer every time. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm running very low, which is why I need to get the roads. I keep shooting people, and see, that does two things. That stif stifles my ability to get ammo, but then it also makes my ammo count less because I'm killing people with bullets. You know, it makes sense. I just used one of my last five bullets on your ass. Yeah. You better be grateful. Pre-shootout with the cops, yeah. I really shouldn't have done anything like that, because I, I was right in front of the, the ammo store. And I was like, hey, yeah, let me, let me rob this lady. Sure, that's a great idea right now. No, I just... Stream content, you got, you, you gotta, you, you gotta do wacky shit to get the content going. 
even if that is holding a lady at gunpoint and asking asking her kindly for money. Quite honestly, I'm surprised the Kickstreamer hasn't tried that yet, considering how fucking wild that platform is. Actually recording themselves doing crime like that. I guarantee you that would go viral. Yo, what's up, gang? It's your boy, um, uh, Gold Scalper 69 and uh, today we're gonna be robbing this old lady at gunpoint. Like the video, subscribe. Um, actually, it's not ethical to rob somebody. You should stop robbing people. Oh, man. Ugh. Kick really is a lawless place. Like I said, I'm surprised nobody has tried, you know, streaming actual muggings and shit. You know... That's the problem with these small horses, because Arthur is kind of a tall guy. Every time he gets off these small horses, there's a solid 50% chance the guy, like, ragdolls off the horse. The bigger horses, it's never a problem. Some dude has killed his girlfriend on live? What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> okay, no, I... I Holy shit, that's, that's fucking deep. Oh, yeah, that guy, because they were, like, doing the stupid dares and shit. And so this, you know, so the dumbass was like, yeah, you go out there without any, without any clothes on. Yeah, and, the, you know, when they brought her back in, she was already fucking dead. And what's crazy as well, like, the, he was off camera, he was beating her, so, like, so when they did the autopsy on her, it, it was shown that, like, the hypothermia alone probably wouldn't have killed her. It was the combination of both the fact that he beat the shit out of her, and then left her out in the cold, which is fucking sad. I'm sorry, I just, I feel strongly about that, just... Not because, it, I, I know, people joke about it, but, like, when it actually comes to real life shit like that, people really shouldn't be that fucking retarded. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, I'm just gonna get drunk and, you know, let my leave my girlfriend out there like a fucking cat. But... Yeah, no, that's... I also know a case where somebody recorded a live stream and had it played when he... Oh, yeah. That guy. The guy who streamed Vice City while he, he um, killed his ex. And then he thought he got away with it. But then they were like, oh, yeah, did, didn't you take, like, an, a, like, a taxi that night? And they found all the fucking surveillance footage of him, like, literally showing him in 4K. Is this you? But... If you hadn't have been so, like, talkative about it, I don't think nobody, I don't think anybody would have suspected him. I think because he was so upfront and talkative about, you know, the murder and shit, I think that's probably why people started to suspect him. But, oh my god. The things people do to get away with that sort of shit, it's like, dude, can't you just talk it out? Wouldn't that be easier? Can't you just, like, you know, talk? Wouldn't that be easier than sticking a knife into somebody? I, I don't know. I don't know. From my personal experience, I found that talking to people is a little bit easier than trying to stab them, but... Oh, yeah, that was the other thing that brought him out there, was the fact that he was, like, up, like, just constantly talking about how, yeah, I'm not going to be able to see chat, I'm not going to be able to see chat. Which is suspicious, because if you're doing a live then you'd think you'd want to have chat, because that's, like, the whole point of being live, is so you can chat with, like, your... <coughs> so you can chat with your people. The things people do, man. Jesus Christ. 
gonna end bloody for you. I think it ended what bloody for you last time when I put a fucking fire bottle at your feet. Let's have a look. I don't know what you what you know what experience you're referencing, but this man thinks he's him, he's not him. You're not that guy, pal. You're not that guy. Trust me. You're not that guy. Wait, did I, did I buy out all... Yeah, I bought out all that. Let me make sure I have some... You're gonna buy something, right? Some dude got mugged while doing a live show. Oh, I think I saw that one, too. The guy was literally... Like, like the, the guys really came up to him. They were all calm and shit. But they were just like, yeah, yo, give me all your stuff. That was fucking creepy. Not creepy so much as it was just kind of surreal. Because you don't think muggings are ever that quiet. But, yeah, that guy, like, it was so fucking quiet. They literally just came up to him and they're like, yo, give us your shit. No, I'm serious. I saw, I saw one where they actually mugged the guy. It was on Twitch. But they were quiet about it. So, like, there was, because it was, like, on a sidewalk or something. Like, everyone could see them. But the guy got mugged. So if you made that up, I mean, that was a good job because you pretty much predicted half of the other crime that goes on while streaming. That shit happens more often on the receiving end than it does on the giving end. What I mean by that is there's a lot more people who will get mugged on stream than... Are, are the mugger, I, I guess is what I'm... But like I said earlier, it would be kind of cool in a fucked up way to have like some mugger set up a kick stream and just stream him mugging people. I just think that'd be hilarious in a fucked up, morbid kind of way. Yeah, I can't believe I have to do fucking grocery shopping in, in Red Dead, dude. Oh, smoking is just being shady and asking if you have money until you realize you're getting robbed. Yeah. But I, you know, because I was, I'm, I'm a dumb, I'm a dumb, sorry, stutter. Because I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a dumb American. I always usually thought that muggings were loud. You know, TikTok, just to, TikTok, just to. Let's go. Shut the fuck up, salesman or store or cashier. Shut the fuck up. I'm not talking to you. But yeah, I always thought that muggings were a, a loud affair. But no. Can you get some cigars? Yeah, there we go. Cigars are the fucking goat for Deadeye. It's a shame you can only carry three of them. Put this. Hurry the hell up. Um, how do I put this? Shut the fuck up and do your job and let me buy my shit. Exactly. That's why it's so fucking great. Cigars for Deadeye? They restore your dead eye. You can smoke them while you're shooting. Yeah, actually, if you guys would be down to see a hunting stream on Red Dead, I just, I don't want to be boring and like, you know, go around and actually hunting. Let's go see, let's, let's go see what we can, what we can make. But I know there's talisman that we can make, and I also know there's satchels we can make. So let's go see, let's go down to Shady Bell, and see what Pearson's, uh, Pearson's willing to make us. Maybe we can make that the stream. Upgrade our shit. Because right now I got the hobo satchel. Usually when I play this game, the priority is to get the tonic satchel. Because the tonic satchel is the most useful, in my opinion, out of all of them. But... Sometimes I just go to the snowy areas and hunt fish or whatever. Lake Isabella or something else. 
Yeah, that sounds fun, actually. Get some warm clothes on, have a camp or something nearby, you have, like, the fucking fire. That's a vibe. Yeah, the one that lets you carry 99 of each. I think I'm way past Shady Bell. Yeah. Shady Bell is down here. Alright, yeah, I'm way past Shady Bell. Alright. To the Batcave. Yeah, the Legend of the East, I think, is the one that allows you to carry, um, 99 of each. I only got that in, like, my first playthrough. I still have that file. That's, like, a ridiculous amount of money, because I duped a shit ton when I first started the game. Yeah, dude, the first thing you always gotta buy when you get a new satchel, more horse supplies. Your horse always comes before, horse always becomes before yourself. No, I'm also retarded. It's, it's fine. I can, I can see through, I, I can, I can translate the retardation into a speakable English language. So you don't have to worry about that. The retardation, I like that. It should be a movie. Actually, instead of the retardation, the retard nation. And it would just be a movie about retards across the nation. Real does, in fact, know real. Well, no, because I'm also slightly acoustic, I can translate acoustic. Oh, the signature Red Dead Redemption 2, error, FFFFF. You gotta love it. You'll love to see it. You'll love to see it. The Red Dead Redemption 2, error, FFFFF. When the game knows there's something wrong, but it can't tell you because it's too embarrassed. So we'll just restart Red Dead here. I'm sorry about that. Dude, I always love it. Me when error FFF, I'm I'm like I'm like a pig in shit. I love it when my games crash. It's usually only this one. That's why I'm so fucking st not scared to open Red Dead. More so, I actually I would say scared because I don't want to fucking invest a ton of time into a game and then just have it crash and then none of my shit saves. Because that's what happened on my eight-hour Red Dead stream. Um, I had gotten to, like, all the way through Chapter 3 so I could buy the uh, 1899 pistols, right? That was, like, the main goal of the stream. And uh, I got to, like, the very end where Dutch and I, like, we go over the bridge to San Denis. And, yeah, it crashed right there and then. So I had to do, like, fucking three missions over again. It's, it's like, dude, when you're playing for that long, and I mean, I know, like, the game's not expecting you to be playing for eight hours, but I'm just saying, I mean, you, you can't at least save between missions. You can't at least do that for me. Yeah, and see, that's the problem I've run into. A lot of my horses have met the fate of autosave deaths. Um, for example... My very first horse in this playthrough. It was a piece of shit, but it died very early into the playthrough because I, um, I kind of threw a fire bottle at a, uh, at, at a coach, and the horse was a fucking retard, and it ran into the fire because it got scared. And don't you love it when horses do that? It's so cool. But yeah, I couldn't bring it back because my autosave was on. Yeah. Easy. So I plan to take extra care of Herbert. Yeah, that's how it usually is for my playthroughs. I'll usually have only one horse for the entire playthrough. Um, But since I've been playing the game so much, I take more risks now. And I've realized that that puts my horse into riskier situations. For example, 
throwing a fire bottle at a coach and having it catch on fire. <laughs> Fran, how are you? Yeah, I'll tell you how I am. Oh, the thoroughbred was it? I think because there's a Hungarian thoroughbred and there's an American thoroughbred. And there's, you know, the other thoroughbreds, but those are the two main ones from the new Hanover um, stables. Cool ass horses. I still have mine. Yep. A streamer, or a, a, a viewer came into my stream and they were like, "Yeah, I'll I'll name this I'll name this American half bridge you got. Let me let me name it." And I'm like, "Okay, yeah, sure, name my horse." And they were like, "Yeah, I want to name your horse Marshmallow." I'm like, "Okay, whatever. I'll name the horse Marshmallow." Level four! Herbert, I love you! Thank you, Herbert. Now I have level six everything. No, nah, but it was a white, white line from between the... Dude, those are always the most special horses. And I say that in the acoustic way. They're always the most special horses when it comes to, um, you know, actually thinking. They, they, they don't seem to have a, a single thought between their two ears. Shut the fuck up, Uncle. No, the, the white striped horses are always the most special ones. Oh, yeah, here's the talisman. I just walked past it. Oh, the pure white you nose, dude. Working tools? I can make some rugs and there are just some, some horses in this game that do have the dead eyes. Some horses, they'll have, like, the, the, the eyes. So they'll, they'll, they'll kind of move them around a little bit. But there are just some horses in this game, you'll take a look at them, and they're like, are you sure Are you sure they even blink? Actually, do horses blink? Shit, I don't even know that. Do horses blink? Do horses blink? I'm pretty sure they, they have to. They have to blink, right? Oh, it's. I can turn up the volume if you want. It's just Lenny telling. Um, it's just Lenny telling a story about his father. But yeah, I guess I guess horses do blink. They just blink a lot slower than we do. Yeah, it's just Lenny talking about his home life. I'm serious. That's literally who who is right now. All right, let's see. Chuck wagon, satchel. And told them as he did so. Time will catch up with us all. A year later, he set them free and hanged himself the very next night. My father gave me that watch. Yeah, the tonic satchel is the easiest one. Upgrade work, upgrade working tools. Appreciate it, Pearson. Dude, how the fuck do you craft talisman? Oh, You're back. We were getting a word. Yeah, the big man thing. sign icon on the map um oh it's the fence yeah the fence all right well, 
let's upgrade our tools first so I know what we're trying to grab in terms of uh, in terms of you know the satchel shit so ledger is in there not Heath Ledger just the ledger Where the fuck does Dutch put it? Shady Bell is always a maze. I'm assuming it's gotta be right next to the money box, right? Yeah, alright. Um, yeah, we don't have any food. Fuck it, I'll donate. Whatever, fine, I'll donate my 5,000. Part of my five thousand dollars. Oh, I don't. I didn't. I didn't want the. I'm sorry. I didn't want the ledger again. I'm. I'm I apologize. No, I wanted to contribute. I'll give my money and then I'll spend the money. How about a thousand? We'll give them. We'll give them a thousand. old man sorry I'm just hearing all this random ped talk and it's like um, mimicking that shit old man that's part of my that's part of being acoustic and then we get the ledger out buy the camp some supplies I do too. I love it when I contribute and, it, and and the gang makes me feel like they actually appreciate it, which is never. Like, I can give them a $1,000 and they're always just like, yeah, we need more. We need more. How was Dutch supposed to get his fancy phonograph with only $2,000? Oh, I, I skipped out on the main part, which is the food. Yeah, let's restock on food. All right. How much just to get to Zahiri already? That's what I'm asking. That's the main question. And they're not answering it. They're not answering it. It's disappointing. Fine. Does Dutch want an? Does Dutch want an upgrade? Does Dutch want an upgrade? Does Dutch want a? Does Dutch, does Dutch want extra feathers for his bed? Does Dutch want more feathers for his bed? I'm sorry. I should stop talking like that. No, I just can't stand how it's like Dutch always comes first, dude. I know he's the leader, man, but come on, come on, dude, come on. Can't he just pretend to be a normal human being with, like, emotions? For a little while? No offense, mind. At least not to them that's gonna quit moaning. Holy shit, that actually used up exactly the amount of money. That's wild. We have exact. Oh, we just use up all the camp's funds. That sounds like a personal problem. He needs a night lamp because he's too scared to sleep in the dark. Exactly. Exactly. I mean, look at this shit. Like, only a pussy uses this shit to sleep. Like, what the fuck is that? Imagine needing a night light. Ugh. All right, Pearson. Let's let's see what you want me to to grab you to get that tonic satchel. For real, it is probably one of the 
most useful starting satchels in the game. I have never run out of tonics with this thing. I've always just had the time to... In, I've never totally run out of tonics with the tonic satchel. It's great. Mr. Morgan, bring me some materials, and I'll be glad to make something nice for you. Mr. Morgan, bring me some materials. Shut the fuck up. All right, yeah, let's let's. All right, one perfect deer pelt, one perfect buck pelt, and one perfect elk pelt. Deer pelt should be easy. Buck and elk, we're gonna need to go up into the mountains for. You know, I noticed that the other day. Shadow the Hedgehog and Vegeta, they literally have the same hairline. It's crazy. Wait, train? Rob? Choo choo? Question mark. Let me on. Hey, um, I don't know how you got there, but you gotta go. Shut the fuck up, nerd. Nerd ass. Alright, don't fall off. Alright. Now, I sure you rich folks won't mind part with your money. Yeah, I'm old classic train robbery. This is all I can give you. I use train robbing a stat. I use the train robbing set of waiting while they're in the tunnel. Strat of oh, I use the train robbing strat of ro waiting till they're in the tunnel so no cops arrive. Okay, yeah, I'm sorry. I was having a stroke reading that because of the blocked off little. You know, they they really they really need to remove or they need to move the emoji button somewhere else, man. It's crazy. No, but that's a fucking wise strat. I just choose to do it wherever because I'm ADHD. I have no patience. I don't care if a thousand cops are on my ass. Hand over all your money now. Please, please, just take it and leave. I'ma leave you cold. I'm gonna leave you cold. Come on. I will kill you. Please, please. Dude, these motherfuckers are getting shot in the crossfire. Train robbery. Train robberies in Sandini usually ain't easy. Yeah. Yeah, because you have everybody going after you. But. Oh, we have no fire bottles either, so we can't get the saves. No fire bottles, no anything. God damn. I am not prepared for this at all. And my horse is, um... We'll try to make it out of here. Maybe we'll do some Assassin's Creed shit to get on the roof or something. We'll escape them that way. That was clean, I'm not gonna lie. Put that son of a bitch down. Oh! I'm 
sorry. This just gets my testosterone going, dude. Holy shit. This, this, get, this gets the dog in me going. Holy shit. The adrenaline is pumping. The dog in me. The dog in me won't stop barking. Jump over this. No, we. I don't think. Can we? Wait. No, I don't think we can. Unfortunate. Your bounty can't get bigger. If the sheriff doesn't have enough money to increase it. Exactly. Looks like they're pretty poor over here, dude. Can't even increase it beyond fifteen hundred dollars. Quite a sad state of affairs, if I'm being quite honest. I don't know why none of those bullets. That was. That was embarrassing. Exactly, though. They, it can't get bigger if they're too poor to fucking keep paying. Now you're thinking with fire. Assassin's Creed this shit. This usually works. It takes a little bit longer because, I mean, you can't get out of the wanted bubble so you don't directly lose them. But at least I, at least I, you know, I don't have to run all the way back to my horse. And if I lose them here, I can just go to the stable and grab it from there. Whoa! Whoa! Yeah, I really Assassin's Creeded that one. I really Assassin's Creeded that one. Usually that works. Usually that works. I don't know what that was. That was like a certified jackass moment. That's what that was. Arthur really should have said right there, Hi, my name is Johnny Knoxville and welcome to Jackass. He doesn't, dude. He would not make a good NBA. He would not make a good NBA draft. I will say that right now. He, he, dude, dude was, dude is not making the NBA. Yeah, he's a shooter. But hold on, let me just. Actually, the professor's mission's over here, and there's another train we can rob. This is perfect, so I can actually show you what I'm talking about. Come here, train. We're gonna rob. Oh. Is there anybody in here? Is this the same train from earlier? There's actually nobody in here. Damn. Fuck it, I'll shoot this guy. Just to show you what I'm talking about, that jump is actually possible. I swear to God, it is. We just need a wanted level here real quick, just so we can... I can't believe I'm getting wanted again, just so I can demonstrate this, but... I can Oh, I always make that jump. It's always when I'm on stream when I f fall short. It's hilarious. Hey guys, I'm just running by. Nothing, nothing, though, nothing, no, nothing to worry about. How is he still alive? Dude took four shots. Maybe he is him. Oh, shit, the bank is open. It's usually locked down.
Did I just kill two of them at once? I think I just killed two of them at once with one bullet. No fucking way. Yeah, I can see what you mean when you say Arthur's a shooter. Dude just killed one guy, or two guys with one bullet. Now that's cost saving right there. Save money, live better. That's Arthur Morgan. Alright. I jump number two. There we go. What, you think about Arthur, or do you think about his shooting ability? I'm, I'm, I'm just confused. I, I forgot what exactly... There was probably something completely different we were talking about, but... What, what exactly do you think about every day? Because I'm, I'm having some, some Alzheimer's right now. What, what, what were we talking about? No, I didn't show. I, the message didn't show up. No. There, there. On my end, it goes from Arthur's a shooter to I think about it every day. Oh, I wonder. Oh, I wonder if he can use Dead Eye for. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Whoa, buddy. Buddy, you okay. I've seen down bad and I've seen down horrendous. You are down stupendous. You are down stupendous. <laughs> That's crazy. Down mathematically. <laughs> God, this game looks so good. Nah, this is a shot over here. This is a shot over here. Hold on. That right there, that's a shot. Hold on, we go into photo mode. That's a shot. Orbit. They did, dude. They really did. I'm sorry. I just, I, I like how... I, I, I can admire when a game looks this good, dude. Like, the, okay, I'm, I'm hitting the limit of... Let's find a texture here that we can give an example of go up really close to these textures and it's only now when you're like right up close to these textures you can see okay yeah it's a texture but from like dude a, a normal viewing I'm, I'm sorry I just, I just I just have admiration for I, 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 don't, I don't know it's just it's so fucking cool when a, a studio can put this sort of work together and have it actually play like a real game and not like a fucking glorified cutscene. They're looking for me, but they won't find me. Oh! I spoke too soon. Okay, okay. <laughs> no, that was intentional. <laughs> oh my god, dude.
It, that was probably the most tragic thing ever. But no, I, I just wanted to demonstrate the jump did work. And we were right next to a main mission, so I guess let's... Let's do some dirty work for Angelo Bronte. There you are. You boys. Dodge! What else do you know about this guy? I like I think he likes gay sex. Some slick little greasy haired European clearly got power and money. Now, listen. If we go in there and start shooting up the place, boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. Better like this, you're gonna have a lot of protection. No one's gonna get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll charm them. Trust me. This place <coughs> must be. You okay, John? I guess. Excuse me, sirs. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? Uh you get your boss down here and now, so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Run along now, boy. Is that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. I got this. straighten a couple of things out with your boss. Chi sono sti buffoni? Sono qui per picciotto. Coi soldi? Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So, you... Walking to my city, stinking of shit and... Looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion? Um, no, my microphone wasn't muted. Um, what happened was uh, the adapter that I plugged my headset into, uh, the uh, the plug. Now, we are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers it ain't got nothing to do with any one of us you had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business we was innocent bystanders and that which we weren't innocent of well we we most surely were ignorant of you, you, you twist words you lie shamelessly you think you are better than everyone else <laughs> there we go, just so we're not having so much torque on the uh, the headset here. The cord was actually pulling on the uh, on the adapter, so fix that. Hopefully we should not have that problem of the, the microphone cutting out. So let's see what Angelo wants us to do for him. Tommy Angelo. Angelo Bronte. I wonder if Tommy Angelo and Angelo Bronte are, are related. 
misunderstand. You know, Tommy of Angelo from I the Mafia games. I wonder if they're related. No. No, no, no. So, how about this? We perform. Michelangelo. For me? Michelangelo. Some... Ain't no way. What is it? Ain't no way they made a t Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles reference in Red Dead. There is no way, bro. Ain't no way they actually did it. The mad lads at Rockstar are... Dude, no way. Taken to grave robbing in the cemetery. Well, that is a fine place for it. The best. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead... You pity us. Don't you don't love us. You pity us. Even. You literally just told us we smelled like mind. shit, so dude. maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Linden. Now you tell me more about my... This kind of guy is the kind of guy who will, like, fake being your friend. And then, like, he'll turn around and, like, you know, stab you in the back. That's what, that's what Angelo Bronte basically is. He is just, he'll kind of manipulate you, he'll kind of, he'll downplay you, he'll talk down to you, and then he'll act like, you know, oh, I'm, I'm just doing that because I'm your friend. No, uh, usually when people do this sort of shit, they're just being dicks. Mommies. Fun fact. <laughs> Salute. Salute. Oh, he said salute! He said salute! He said the Sopranos line! Go. You know where the cemetery is? I think so. Bronte wheel, little bro, you like crazy. It's real impressive. I don't know what that was supposed to mean, but I have a feeling that I agree with it. It's one of those kinds of sent I I cannot translate that level of autism, I apologize. We don't even know what my my autism translator does not go that far. But Whatever you said, I have a feeling I, I agree with it on some sort of level. Yeah, you've been a shit father to him. Let me, let me, let me take your son. Honestly, Jack, you know, as Arthur's son, would be way better off. I'm just saying that right now. Arthur is way smarter than John. I'm going to be honest, Arthur's way smarter than John. I think the reason why uh, Jack grew out the way he was, he tried to be smart, he really did, he tried to read books and shit, and John was always just like, yeah, fuck that, you're not reading, yeah, you're not going to be, and he ended up just being a fucking dumbass. I mean, yeah, he wrote something, sure, I mean, he did end up writing a book, but I, I feel like he kind of, you know, basically, you know, talked his son into not being you know, the little smartass that he was at the beginning of Red Dead 2. You know, he kind of beat that out of his son, if you will. Jack Branch. Although I don't know if John Marston beats his son. I don't know if that's a, a, a canonical thing. Oh! I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I thought you were talking about... I, I thought you were talking about two different people there for a second. No, if he, yeah, he, he is that kind of condescending. I do agree with that. Because I knew I would agree with that. I just need to know. I just need to know what it meant first. For all the money we caught, we must have sent him here so we couldn't get to it. But Bronte knows by now there's no Braithwaite's left to pay him. Jack ain't much use to him anymore. Let's just. So he's gonna kill Jack. Run. Okay. You I'm fine with that. The rest. I just hope you're right. What do you want? Your wife, that's what I want. Pedestrian asks, what do you want? Oh shit, let me get the bolt action out. The funny sounding gun. Okay. I was telling you guys about this earlier. Keep it down. Exactly, he just leaves his kid. He doesn't beat his kid, he doesn't whatever, he just leaves him. Like a real man. Absentee, if you will. Alright, we got that funny sounding gun out. 
Locked, loaded, ready to go. This way. Come on. Let's find him and get the hell out of here. I'll try this way. Keep it down. Don't want him to bolt on. All right, let's find these grave robbers. You know, they, they, they always... Guys always want to talk big shit, but when it comes to calling somebody a pussy, they never actually want to act upon it. You know, guys are always like, yeah, I want pussy. Yeah, I want pussy. And the minute somebody, you know, and the minute they identify somebody as another puss, as, as a pussy, you know, it's 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 then like, oh, well, you know, I don't want that. Like, you know, own up to what you own up to, own up to what you call people, man. Like, dude, if you're gonna call somebody a pussy, at least you know, treat them like a pussy. I mean, I, I'm, I'm just saying, I'm just saying here. Exactly, you gotta stay consistent. Let's keep going. Exactly. My thoughts precisely. Okay. We got them barking dogs again. It seems to be a recurring theme of this stream. We got them barking dogs. Oh, I feel kind of bad. They can hear us, you know. They're still with us. You should get yourself home. Sooner we get this done, sooner we get. Or yeah, he's probably hungry. He's probably looking. He's probably smelling that um, that rotting flesh, and he's like, mmm, yummy, yummy, in my dog tummy. I think he's over here. I think I hear him. Get a job. Over here. Get the funny sounding gun out. Your boy found my pappy, watch it. Yo, what the f oh. Okay, I thought it was gonna be like some haunted shit, but no. They just bamboozled us. Yeah, that sound, the high sound. This this gun tells you high every time you fucking shoot it in dead eye. Hi! Ho! Hi! I'm sorry. I it's the funniest sounding gun in the fucking game. Playboy Cardi ass song, yeah, dude. I think Playboy I think they actually did get like a, a fucking rapper in here to do some of the soundtrack, so it might be Playboy Cardi might have produced something in here. But listen. Woo! It, it says high and who? Not when you're when you're not in dead eye it doesn't make the funny sound, but when you are in dead eye, um, I cannot get over the funny gun sound. Who? Hi. Lil Nas made. Oh, it was Lil Nas who who did the the soundtrack. Yeah, that's right. I remember because that was like in the headlines. Everyone was like, Lil Nas, the star in uh, Lil Nas, the star in uh, Red Dead Two, something like that. But it was like all over the fucking place. Okay, but we'll need to be quick. We can't go back to Bronte empty-handed. Let's have a look where they first shot at us from. Robin Grave Robbers. Well. I know a prolific rapper did something in Red Dead 2. Some like one of the, like the dishonorable soundtrack. Like if you were if you were playing like unhonorable or whatever, like um there was a rapper who who did like the the music for that storyline, like that path. If you chose to be dishonorable, like he did that soundtrack. But I do know Lil Nas X made Old Town Road, but why do why does that sound familiar? I thought Lil Nas X was the one who did the Red Dead soundtrack. I could have sworn there was a fucking rapper who did 
part of the Red Dead soundtrack. I can't remember them now. I thought it was Lil Nas X because it sounded really familiar, but no, now that you're mentioning it, it's probably just Old Town Road. Yeah, we got some doubloons for our worries. Nah, bro. Nah, bro. We are shooting our way out of this. We are not being pussies. We are not pussies. Get up in there! Dude, John is going off. I, I did not see how many bodies John got until that point. Holy shit. John just killed a dog. Oh my god, John Marston just killed a dog. I cannot believe that. Can we cancel John Marston? Escape the law? Fair enough. We're like next to no bullets. We have no horse reviver, this is bad. This is bad. This is very bad. Yeah, you know, it really, it challenges the player. It really does. Wait, wait, no, 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 horse medicine. Thank you. Oh, that's John, what the fuck? I don't know why I'm shooting at John. Yeah, but no, isn't it just lovely when they spawn everything, like, right in front of you? Oh, they, they did it again. Rockstar did it again. Okay. No! Okay! Um, no, this isn't my first playthrough, actually. This is probably my sixth playthrough of the game. I'm just, I do different shit every time. Usually in this mission, I'm very stealthy. But in, I, I, I just, I wanted to, um... I wanted to try something different, and I know you can take this mission a bit differently, like you can shoot your way out, or you can just sneak your way out, so I just chose to shoot my way out, and this is why my horse is almost dead, and I'm, you know, doing somersaults over fences. Just to answer your question, Mr. Goober. And uh, I, I wish I could call Lester. I wish I could call Lester. I really do. That'd be great.
Lester would be the ideal guy to call in this situation. Hey, John. Johnny Marston. Little Johnny Marston. Little Johnny Marston. Always liked it when Arthur called him that. It was just such a condescending thing, but you can't hate Arthur for being condescending. It's impossible. He's just not a hateable guy. It's just... He, he, he spits. Of course, Micah Bell would say Cap. How are we doing, Micah Bell? Good to see you back on the stream. I remember you. Good to see you back, man. How you doing? Nah, but of course, Micah Bell would say that Arthur's not hateable. Of course. But of course. I got a feeling. I'm sorry, I won't do that again. Bro said I got a feeling, and I had to follow that up with, with, with a you know a, a sing along. All right, let's see, let's see if he'll release. Oh, okay, there we go. There's Jack. Lovely, great. Awesome. Let's get going. What a fine man. Hey, friend. Thank Mr. Bronte for everything. Yeah, I'm fine. Come on. You know, Arthur, Mr. Bronte has invited us. What kind of profile picture? Yeah, Mike Bell has a has an acquired taste for profile pictures. It's it's just part of it's just part of his style. You'll get used to it. You'll 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 get you'll get used to it. It's it's just his it's just his unique way of introducing himself to unknowns. Alright, let's get this boy back to his mother. You sure you're okay, son? His profile picture is as wholesome as it gets, totally. Under ten percent. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> God help us all. God help us all. That profile picture. God help us all. You look like worms, Jack. Dumbass. You're a fucking pantafola. Shut up. Oh, good for you. You got pantafolas. <laughs> Micah and Abigail naked before GTA 6. Why do you think Jack doesn't look like John? No, he does have that blonde hair. No, you do have a point. I'm starting to think about it. It makes more sense. Now that you mention it, it's all coming together now. It's all making sense now. Like you wouldn't know. Nice you evening. Nice night, then. Most enjoyable. Well, the man's an intolerable. Yeah, he did get that Javier look when he grew up. <coughs> I'm not gonna lie, dude. There was this one... There was this one fucking, um... 
I can't remember it. There's this one YouTuber I used to watch that fucking... When they got to the epilogue of Red Dead Redemption 1, it was like this girl that like played Red Dead Redemption 1 all the way through, I guess. Dude was... She was fucking thirsting for Jack. I don't know what it is about those fucking mustaches. I think, I think the people who have those mustaches make bad life decisions, but I, I just... I don't know how people can thirst for Jack. I don't know how people do it. The guy all grown up, he looks like, um... He looks like Jesus with a mustache. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. The, the fucking girl thirsted over fucking adult Jack. It's fucking... I'm sorry. I just... I don't know how you could find that mustache attractive. Yeah, good. Actually, I don't think it's so much of a mica stash. Because a mica stash would be like, you know, kind of handlebars. Oh, yeah, the women, women see the potential. It's like, yeah, this guy's a fixer-upper. Yeah, I can I can fix this guy's mustache. No, you can't. When a guy when, when a guy wears that kind of mustache, you're not fixing that shit. You, you just know you're not fixing that shit. But, no, I don't think it's so much of a mica stache as much as it is a, um... As much as it is just a handlebar. Or not, not a handlebar, but just a, a fucking Javier stache. Sorry, I don't, I don't know why I said uh, handlebar stash, but it's basically a Javier stash. Dude literally grew up to be Javier, and then all the fucking YouTube e-girls fucking thirsted over him. Like, oh my god, um, I'm gonna fucking shit myself. It's like, I, I, I just, maybe I'm molding because I can't grow that great of a mustache. Maybe I'm just molding, but I'm just saying, dude. I've never ever heard of a girl that actually likes, you know, the 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 fucking over the fence mustache, if you will. I just don't get that over the border look, man. I, I'm sorry, I I don't understand it, but anyway. Joe Rogan smoking the shunt, talking about varsity athletes. We certainly are, Mr. PTSD. Thank you for dropping by. Jamie, pull up the... J Jamie, pull up that... Jamie, Jamie, pull up that image. People blow hard, but he stocks a fine bar. How did you fellers get on? So are you implying that Jack went... Are you implying that Micah went over the border then? Are you implying that Micah is a border hopper? Because I could get behind that. I could get behind that sentiment. Are you implying that our that that Micah Bell is a border hopper? It actually does make sense for Micah. You know, goes into Mexico and fucking kills two families of five. Typical Micah behavior. Yeah, I'm just gonna go over to the fucking. I'm gonna go over to Mexico. I'm gonna. I'm, I'm gonna just hunt for sport. Proceeds to fucking mow down three... No, I'm not. Nah, but that would be Micah behavior. Going to Mexico and terrorizing everybody. That is such Micah behavior. Jack might might have gotten Javier DNA, but ain't nobody letting the Micah hit. I wonder, dude. I wonder if Jack was like one of those cases... Of the two guys, like, making one one egg, right? I, I, I wonder if that was the case, right? If Javier and Jack, or Javier and John, you know, they, they both, you know, whatever at the same time. And, and, and Jack was just the amalgamation of all three of them. I wonder. Because that has happened before. Maybe that's why he has an extra chromosome, too. Jack, that's what I'm, you know, that's what I mean. You should look at my page again, Freaky Boy. Hold on. Let me see this shit. PTSD has another update for us. We need to check him out. <clears throat> Alright, hold on. We, we, we gotta watch this shit. Alright, 
another another fever post. We have our second fever post from the day from our boy PTSD. He's doing the family proud. The only reason I'm not uploading with this consistency anymore is because when you um, when you use all the Sopranos clips. You kind of tend to have to make your own story with them, and that's what I'm doing with them right now. I'm making my own story with the fucking Sopranos clips. That's why it does take longer for me to put my my stuff out. If you notice, there's like a like a little hidden message within every single one of my videos. He is putting food on the table. So we're watching PTSD's P Fever Post right now, and as the father of Fever Posts. Um, we're, we're just gonna, we're, we're gonna assess it, and we're gonna judge it. On a scale of one to, um, that's a fever post. One being shit, and that's a fever post being, that's a fever post. How you feel? Good. Your mom's never had the making to a boss yet. What the hell's with you? Fucking manners, please! Your father never had the making to provide the acting. Fucking manners, please! It's not cool. <laughs> Fucking manners, please. <laughs> I just like how he asks a he asks a third time, and Tony's like, "Yeah, okay, I'll let you, I'll, I'll, I'll let you talk." And then the video just cuts. The video just fucking cuts. That's hilarious. <laughs> Junior literally looks like one of those 90s golf game sprites. You know those 90s golf games where they'd have like the, the cutouts of all the fucking of all the fucking golf players and basically it would just be like a pre-animated, you know, sprite of them hitting the fucking That's literally what Junior looks like. Hold on. Literally. Literally, that's Junior. Whoa, Junior. Junior what? Uncle Jones and I'm up. Oh, did I say mom? <laughs> I mean, how about that prick's face when he saw the gat? <laughs> What's that smell? You guys know those gat? Your father never had to make it to the boss of the gat. What the hell's with you? Your father never had to make it to the boss of the gat. Don't let it go away. Hey, listen, my friend. Your father never had to make it to the boss of the gat. So, I gotta give that probably about a nine out of ten. That was a pretty good. That was a pretty good fever post. I like. I like the little skit. You, you, the little skit you had in there about, you know, the guy trying to talk, and then he, you know, he couldn't talk because the video just cut. I like that sort of shit. That's that's fucking hilarious right there. You know, PTSD. You oh he all dude he get he gets brighter every time dude. I didn't notice that, but that would be a that that's also a cool detail. Um. But no, that's certified, you know, certified uh, fever post right there. Definitely. I'm curious. Did you wait? Were you the guy that asked the other day about like what editing software do you use? I'm curious. Were you that guy? Because if you were that guy, that's cool that this came full circle. And, like, you're now using, like, my editor to... that That's pretty fucking cool. If you're the same guy who asked, like, what do you use to edit the videos? Oh, okay. That's sad. I want to know where he went. Because he ed there's, like, a guy that came up and asked me, like, what do you use to edit your videos? I want to know what he's doing. But nonetheless, welcome to the family, man. Welcome to the friend Welcome to the Fever Post family. Next time you, next time you post a video, let me know. You shit it out, it's made within me. That's how that's how they all usually are. Um but yeah, just let me know when you post like your third video and you know whenever it is. And I'll 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 post it. I'll you know I'll post it on my community tab for you. But that's hilarious. The lore will only get deeper. That's usually how it is. The lore isn't usually too deep with the first couple of episodes. And then once you start kind of figuring out how, you know, how you edit and like what you want to do to actually, you know, make this make the lore coherent, that's when you can actually, you know, start doing the fun stuff like making little tiny bits of lore within the within the, you know, 
within your videos. That's what I mean. Problem? Oh, hey, problem. We about doubled the population. That's a good idea. I should make a community post lore update. I've always wanted to make a crossover with like all of my videos, but I don't know how to, how I want to do it. Like I wanted to make like my schizo posts and my no, I'm I'm not saying whatever. I'm just I'm saying like between my my fever posts. I'm not I'm not saying all my videos. Like that would be just, just fucking horrible. But what I'm saying is you know put you know make them like a, a link storyline. You know link them together. But I couldn't really figure out how to do that, so I just kind of edited, you know, willy nilly, and then I kind of made up a story in my head, some lore up in my head. And if anybody asks me, like, hey, what's the lore? I'll just tell them what the lore is, you know. But it should be pretty obvious, you know, like, Tony dies in this one, or, you know, Polly dies in this one, or this one dies in that one, or. That's usually what my what my schizo posts and my fever posts ended up being, where you know, at the end it 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 would always be somebody ended up dying, like you know Ralph ended up dying, Tony a couple of times ended up dying. I'm told every rich fool in Lemoyne will be there. Bronte, oh, he'll be there too. Seems to more or less run this city. At least that's the way he sees it. Could open up some opportunities for us. It's been a chaotic few days, but we can finally move forward now. Hey, they're back! I think the stories have kind of just molded themselves Abigail! as I've made the videos, like I said. Abigail! We got you, your son! Everything! We got him! Mama! He's fine! I'm fine, Mama! They fed me good. It's how I <laughs> Yeah, they fed him worms. <laughs> you got it. Typical Italian diet it. worms. Dutch farther, thank you. Thank you. I got my son back. Jeff, Jeff. I feel bad for, oh, for John, boy. man. He got left out. Thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail? Can I go play now? <sighs> so well Dang, my Mr. wife be looking Bronte. da goddamn. He is not holding back any punches. Have you ever meet an Italian strong man before? <laughs> not outside of the circus. Well, let me tell you all about him. Micah Don't Bell is not holding back. With your family. Or... Thank you. Boys, we got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back. <laughs> well, the boys say thank goodness. Thank you, Arthur. I... <clears throat> nah, for real though. I don't know why people look up to John so much. Come on. Like Arthur wasn't this much of a fucking cuck. Literally, John is the John Marston is the Adam Twenty Two of the nineteenth century, and I will stand by that statement. And that's why I think Arthur's a better protagonist. You know, John just sits by and let his let lets his fucking wife get screwed by everybody. You know, meanwhile, fucking at least Arthur's out here putting in work. You know, he he at least has the choice to deny Mary any sort of simpage. You know, you at least have that choice as a character. No, John, John has his wife and he's married, but he's still but you know he's still getting fucking cucked. It's crazy. I've never agreed with Micah Bell so much in my life. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family. No, like, and, and even then, like, Arthur's, like, he's not serious about it. He just jokes most of the time, like, you know, how much you, how much you girls cost. Like, he doesn't, he doesn't simp. The man doesn't simp. I don't know why John, I don't know why people think John is such a, better protagonist he's not he's not when it comes down to it between the two like i'd pick red harlow before i'd pick john marston all right now on to our main mission of the day is we're gonna need a deer pelt an elk pelt and a buck pelt we're gonna do some hunting because we need the um we don't need it. 
but we want to craft the um, fucking what is it? The tonics satchel. Yeah. What does that bitch Mary want now? Yeah, I hope Kieran enjoys his last drink. Fun fact. If you don't if you don't know, which I mean Micah Bell probably already knows this, he's probably played the game like, you know, ten times over already. For the other person who doesn't who's in here that doesn't know, um, during that party, you can actually hear Kieran get dragged away. You can actually hear him get tortured too by the O'Driscolls. Which is why then he comes back headless, whatever. But yeah, fun fact, you can actually hear him get dragged away, um, around this time. They actually thought about that. Like, they, they were like, wait, how would Kieran get dragged away? Like, whatever, but no, they accounted for it. Alright, so we need a deer pelt, a buck pelt, and an elk pelt. So we need to find a deer first. Which should be easier said than done, because usually when you want them to spawn, they don't. Is this a train over here? This would be the only way that I would... Is, is this a train? Yeah. thought I heard something. Fuck it, we're not gonna do that. Fuck it. No, we're, we're, we're gonna stay on topic. We're not gonna ADD. Oh, okay. Wait. It's just right here. Yeah. Oh. This should be easy. You, me, you damn fool. I'm going, all right? All right, let's dead eye up. You fine folks are getting robbed. You're a good man, Arthur Morgan. You're a good man. I love my horsey, and my horsey love me. You're a good man, Arthur Morgan. I'm gonna watch you rot! You're one dead hombre. I'm sorry, the, the lines these fucking, um... These fucking lawmen have in this game... Goaded. Hilarious. Some of the best lines in all of gaming history. You're one dead hombre. What are your favorite lawmen lines? Leave them in the chat. They actually have some of the coldest lines in all of gaming history. You're one dead hombre. You're gonna rock. I like the way they say it too. Like they're almost half British. Run away! Alright, I think we can find deer out here too, which is great. We just need our bow. What are these? 
What are these? Oh, I can't, I can't do anything with them because I'm still wanted. This is fucking stupid. You're telling me I can't hunt while I'm being hunted? You actually, you're actually trying to tell me that. Damn. White-tailed deer, white-tailed deer. I have hiccups. Uh, yeah, I have mad hiccups. What the hell? Alright, let's set up some herbivore bait. Let's see what that does. I thought that I thought I had some potent herbivore bait, but I guess I only have this. So we'll set that down. Cover our, co I said cover our scent. I said cover our scent. There we go. Okay, my girl. And then if we got this right... Because this is like the only bait that really attracts one kind of predator. Or one kind of prey. It's, it's literally only the deer bait. Come on. Where are you guys at? That's why I don't like hunting in this game. It's a lot of waiting. It doesn't make for good stream content. It's relaxing in my own time, but while I'm streaming, it's like the most nerve-wracking thing because you don't know what's, you know... Okay, maybe I'm not gonna find any deer here. I'm thinking maybe just roaming around, I'd find a lot more deer. Yep. Like, what the fuck is that? Is that, a cl is that? I think that's a bunch of deer. Deer? Deer. White tail, white tail. White tail deer, perfect. Gotcha. It's okay. There's our perfect deer. Now we just need the buck and the elk. God, he is so brutal with how he does that. If those animals were even, like, a hint of sentient while that was happening, dude, that would just be nothing but pain. Imagine having your skin ripped off like that. I could not imagine a more painful way to go. <laughs> Anyway, let's go find our buck and our elk, which they should both be in the same area. In other words, they should be up here in the grizzlies. I cannot harvest this animal's parts as I have no space to stow them. Seems like a personal problem.
I know that was the most inefficient way to feed him. I could have just fed him an apple, but I like my horse. I'll feed him a little bit more. I'll feed my horse what I want. Is this William over here? Is this like another camp? Yeah, that's William. Never mind. Fuck William. Actually, you know, there's a daily, there's there's a ritual whenever we go on these streams. We we got to we got to say hi to William. We got to say hi to William. And there's only one way to say hi to William. There's only one way to say hi to William. There's the Evans. Okay. There's only one correct way to do anything for William. Oh, William! I have come for you. Hey there, friend! Come! Stop on by for a moment. No, how about... Damn. Should have been armed. Okay, and I guess... Wait, am I... Dude. Get me out of here. Why am I... Okay, there we go. I was wondering why I was walking so slow. All right, all right, Herb. We're gonna we're gonna take on these these piggies like like men. We are we we don't fear anybody. Ooh. Good man, Arthur Morgan. Proceeds to kill three dogs. Alright. Let's grab this guy's stuff. Let's just loot, loot the area. Why not? Free stuff never hurt anybody. Y'all are poor as hell, only carrying a dollar seventy on you? God damn. Poor as fuck. Damn. Shit. Oh, you wanna be part of this? Huh? You want you want Okay then, partner. What now? Holy shit. Yeah, run away. Only so I can shoot you again. Oh, come on. Okay, are we done now? Oops, all headshots. Yep. That was that, I don't know what that was, but there's a there's a camp over here, one that's not Williams, and I'm just curious to see what it's all about. I usually call William Squilliam, but I don't know if anybody would get the reference. Yeah. It's a no Driscoll camp. Micah, it's your best friends. Micah, look, it's your best friends. There's your friend Daryl, Dole, Dake, Clyde, and Johnny. I don't know what Johnny was named. Johnny, I was, uh, bit of a confusing name considering the rest. But, you know, they, 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 those are your friends all the way down there.
I like listening to their conversations. Hold on. None of these guys know they're about to die. Oh, also, these are both in poor condition. I forgot to maintain my guns while I was at the gunsmith. And neither of these are really that bad off for maintenance, so we'll, we'll just not bother right now. We'll preserve. Oh, oh, you know what? Fuck it. I'll smoke a little bit while we listen to this guy's conversation. Nothing else? Wee! Wee! You're damn right it is. Oh shit, I killed all of Micah's friends. God damn it. Sorry, Micah. I should have known better. I should have a little more self control. Like that Laura Branigan song, self control. Loot this guy. Damn, y'all had to risk your fucking shit just to talk about getting your peckers pulled? I would've stayed quiet, I would've just ignored you. But no, y'all had to talk about getting your peckers pulled, and, you know. Oh, and there's bounty hunters too. Okay, cool. I'll just take care of them real quick. There's no need to be crying. I'm just defending myself. I'm just defending myself. No need to cry and shit yourself, you know. Alright. Let's continue on our journey. Our diversion for Squilliam had a uh, bit of a 15 minute consequence there. Squilliam. Yeah. Honestly, fuck Squilliam. All my homies hate Squilliam.
talked to my chat last time and we all mutually agreed that Squilliam was by far the worst person to ever exist. I want to get the random encounter with a duel over here, but it hasn't spawned yet. Off to the Grizzlies. Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast. I'm sorry, I had an acoustic moment. Oh. Mr. Beast. How would you feel? How would you feel if somebody came up to you? Shouted Mr. Beast and did that to you. Wait, this guy getting swept downstream? Ain't no way. Dude is actually getting swept downstream. The attention to detail is insane. Oh, another unknown error. F F F F F. All right, that shouldn't be a problem because we got we got auto save on, so we should have our deer pelt when we get back. But oh, that's annoying. That's another red dead PC moment right there for you. Having the game crash mid travel. That is the one thing reinstalling drivers cannot fix, is Rockstar's seem seeming inability to actually fix any of their fucking games. Everyone's like, oh yeah, update your drivers, update your drivers. It's like, yeah, that might work for NVIDIA, but no, not for AMD shit, man. You get an AMD card, they usually say if you get an AMD card and the drivers work, stick with that version for as long as you can before you have to update. Because AMD driver support, I'll, I, I've said it before and I'll say it again, by far the worst in the graphics card industry. Chipset drivers are just fine. They work right out of the box, whatever, but when it comes to the graphics cards, no, don't even think about it. Don't even think about it. By far the worst drivers. They corrupt by themselves all the time, just on random. You could just be watching a video and then all of a sudden, oh shit, yeah. It tries to install a set of drivers, you know, because it's trying to auto-update, right? So it's, you know, automatically installing itself to the same folder, doesn't overwrite everything it needs to, and then all the drivers get corrupted by themselves because AMD cannot code. They make good value products, but I guess then you have to sacrifice any actual support so anyway we're back in the game back in the game and we have our pelt we're up in the grizzlies and now we just need to find some elk and buck oh herbert you could have avoided that there was a solid two seconds there you could have gotten out of the that tree was not a necessary part of this journey wait is this three star study 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 this elk yes come over here get over here get over here Gonna drown. Shit. Oh, 
My first, okay, this is a three-star elk right here. You will get over here and you will... You will... No! Okay, thank God. It went back... Okay, horse, get back over here. Get back over here. You're not done yet. You're not done yet. We're not done yet. I don't know why Arthur has to fall off the short horses. No! No! God damn it! Horse! Work with me! You were doing so well! Get on. Okay, thank you. Arthur, if you if you fumble this, I I have no hope. Arthur, how are you fumbling so bad? Thank you. Alright, let's see our perfect pelt. Yes! Perfect pelt. Arthur really fumbled that throw, man. Jesus Christ. But then, then we got it. We got it. We're, we're, we're fine. And then we can stack the pelts and keep going. Now we just have to find the buck. Which should be easy because bucks have reduced ridiculously large antlers. Let's go find a buck. This is way easier than last time I did this. Maybe not going this far up. I don't think this is the right way to the buck. I believe... Buck would be... Buck would be somewhere over on this part of the mountain. Usually they are. Which I guess we need to go this way anyway. Okay, I'm going around in circles. Never mind. We're going this way. I didn't want to go up all the way into the mountains, but I guess uh, that's where we have to go. At least for now, and I guess there's going to be another road that'll lead us out from the mountains and down towards where we actually want to go. Oh, that was a jump and a half. Not really, but usually horses don't jump like that. Just had to assert my dominance. Moving on. Yeah, there's a girl. Good girl. 
calming horses at level four is low key the best way to get stamina back. It's not even low-key, it's actually the best way to get stamina back. You done good, girl. I just spam it because I never know when the refresh is, or when, when you know, you, you can use it again, but... Yeah, like right there. There's Coulter. No wait, no. That's that's the mining town we uh, we raided. That's not Coulter. Never mind. That's the one where the logisticals were staying at. Good, girl. Yeah. I guess we just go further down the mountain. Somewhere around here, we should find elk. Or buck, sorry. There's elk. Where's the where's the buck? Oh, cool. Antler knife. What about Gott's face when he saw the compromise? Thank you so much, Wil Wilco Foxtrot, for joining us up on the stream here today. Much appreciated. How you doing today? Sorry, I'm just kind of focused here. I'm trying to get this buck pelt because you never know where these motherfuckers are hiding. Bucks are herbivore, right? Yeah. yeah, they don't eat meat, so if I put out some herbivore bait... Yeah, let's try that. Let's go a little bit of ways on the mountain. Let's try that. See if we can't get a buck or two. Why do I have a feeling I'm not in the buck area right now? Dude, there are like no animals around here.
That's a buck. No, they, never mind. That's an elk. It's a bull elk. That's not a buck. Okay. Where the fuck are the bucks? Dude. Gotta be around here somewhere. That is not an animal I want. I made the mistake of saying this was going to be easy. Some cow elk. Where are these tracks going? Yeah. Fuck it. Where are these guys? As far as I know, bucks also go up in the mountains, so... Unless if there's something I don't know about here. Should all be up here. That's another cow elk. Yeah. Where the fuck are the bugs? These are just going to be deer, I know it, but. They gotta be around here somewhere. Tail deer, white tail deer. I just fell off my horse. Buckety, buckety, buck, buck, buck. Bighorn sheep, not good enough. That's three star white tail. Okay, and no, I'm just checking my messages, sorry. You heard that default ass Android ringtone in the background, yeah, you know it couldn't go unchecked. Where are the bucks? I just need one more pell, that's all I need. Better yet, if it was a perfect pell. Pronghorn, that's not what I want. Are these guys okay there's elk dude it's a bear I'm not gonna try to oh my god there's so many of them so many bears so many bears man so many bears What's the deal with this many bears?
Okay, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna use the, the, the unique power of Google. This is this is my trait here. This is my p skill perk. I'm gonna use Google to find out where exactly this this shit is. Tall trees falls. So let me get this straight. Let me let me get this. Oh, map. So we're not even really in the right area. We need to be in the Cumberland Forest. That's where we're gonna find the buck. Let's go to Cumberland, guys. And then we can make our tonic satchel, which then means, um... Oh. The wolf has not died yet. Isn't that upsetting? Fuck you, you mess with Herbert. You mess with Herbert, you mess with me. That's what happens to motherfuckers that mess with my horse. I love my horsey, and my horsey loves me. No, wait, wait. Are these... No, these are just pronghorn, okay. I keep mistaking the fucking big old, like, uh, ram horns for antlers. The way the slide moves back in slow-mo is kind of spastic, but I kind of also like it. Because you have to realize how fast the slide also moves, moves even in slow motion. I mean, I know it's still not that fast, but still, that's fucking cool. I like the way the guns work in this game. They just, they paid so much time, attention, and love to them. It's so nice, man. Is that a buck? No, that's a deer. Yep. Oh, Cumberland Forest we go. Oh, there's a fence here? Wait, can I sell my goods here? If there's a fence, I will happily sell my my uh my jewelry and shit here. Welcome, sir. Come see what I got. Dry goods on your right as you come in, whiskey on your left. Far wall for domestic supplies. And if you're after the post office, it's over there. Oh wait, so where's the fence? Don't judge me for it. Catalog or no, wait. Or is this just I could have sworn this was the fence got. icon. Fuck it, I gotta, I gotta buy any, I gotta buy yeah, stuff anyway. Well, we're all the way out here, why not? We're gonna be out here for a while. Good choice. And I think this guy has everything too, because he is still remote. So he has like tonics and everything. Should be, should be fine. Done deal. 
Hair tonic, yeah, he has that. Okay, he has all the sonics. Yeah, this guy has everything. Good so, if you want to ever go up into the Grizzlies and you need shit, just go to this guy. He has everything. He even has clothing. The dude has fucking clothing. Up in the Grizzlies. Why? Alright, I'm just going through here, just making sure there's nothing else here I'm missing. Oh, like, I'm missing gun oil, copper scent lotion. Good Get business. Some horse reviver. Four hundred and four thousand two hundred and eighty dollars. Should be good. Uh, I should stop narrating what you guys can already see, you know, being Captain Obvious, but you know, as a white guy, I feel the need to do that. It's kind of our M.O. Being Captain Obvious. Oh, horse race! I can increase the speed. I paid top dollar for this beauty, fast as a bullet. Want to see how yours compares? I'll race you to Diablo Ridge. All right. You're on, feller. All right. Let's go. Dude, this is like the chance that we get to like we get we get a chance to increase our horse's speed, and this shit never happens. I'll take this opportunity. I don't think you can upgrade a horse's speed by just riding it or bonding with it. You actually have to do these specific races. God, I fucking hate those bridges, man. Because you can only go one way through them, and because the horses are kind of like on autopilot the entire time, like you don't really ever have control over the horses. They just veer wherever they want to. It doesn't matter if you're pressing right on the stick. They don't give a shit. The horse will just go where it wants. I'm surprised I managed to do that. Usually these horse races are hard as fuck. Okay, what is this guy doing? Hey, it was being mean to his horse. Come on, girl. Just being mean to his horse. Get back here. Hey, are you mean to your horse? Is that why you're defending him?
he still somehow doesn't know who I am. He still somehow does not know who I am. God damn. Herb, you're just gonna have to thug it out. Oh, shit. I am not, I, I am not wasting this. Come here. No, this is not, no, up here. We, we could have gone away. Herb. Herb. Yep, yep. Let's get. Herb. All right, bud. Let's go. Let's go, bud. Before you fuck anything else up, let's go. You're a fuck up, but I still love you, Herb. You done good, girl. Okay, we just ran over a fox, so he didn't he didn't have to get it. He jaywalked. The guy jaywalked. He didn't, he didn't have to get Hop in the road like that. Motherfucker jaywalking. through Valentine? Is that what's happening now? I think we are. Hey, yeah, we're going through Valentine. Yeah. Let's see if the family... Because I gave money to the father to help build the house. And then I came back and killed the people who bought the house from the father. So, I guess they paid attention to detail. Those people are not responding. Interesting. Oh, there it is. I ain't hearing no more of this. I won that game fair and square. There's the duel. We get to do a duel now. Who else wants some? Huh? Who else? Sure. I'll shoot you. Wouldn't mind some practice. Well, let's get to it then. All right. Hey, why are you calling me a monster? He's the one who started killing people first. Okay. It's not fair. <laughs> fair, who got fair? Who gives a shit about fair? for content when I'm reciting my own video lines.
just a little bit longer and then we'll be in Cumberland Forest and then we can get our elk or buck I'm sorry I keep referring to either one is vice versa so apparently I'm also retarded but let me take a toke here real quick How convenient. Bounty hunters. Very convenient. Alright, let's see if we can take this, these guys down with one fell swoop. No, probably not. Alright, that was kind of clean. Oh, we're going the complete wrong way now. So wait, did, are we in Cumberland now? Yeah, we're in Cumberland Forest now, okay. So we just have to find some buck. You know... Herbie! 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 You didn't have to do that! Herbert! Come on, dude. Let's go. All right, now where are these goddamn buckaroonies? Where? Where is she? Where are they? Where are they? Sorry, I'm just referencing Batman. Channeling my inner, channeling my inner Batman. We should have to find this bug, and then we should be fine. We can make our satchel, but the problem is, I can't find help no bug. Help the blind? Yeah, I'll give you a helping hand. I'll give you a helping hand. How, 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 how is this for a helping hand? How is this for a helping hand? Where, where, where are these bucks? They gotta be around here somewhere, dude. You know what, fuck it, I think this is where herbivore bait, herbivore, I keep saying herbivore, herbivore bait would actually come into play. Because we can set it down in Cumberland Forest. Somewhere around here, and hopefully we'll get some bucks. That's what I'm crossing my fingers for. We'll okay. set it. We'll set it down here so we have a bit of a ridge to look over our uh, progress, if you will. Oh, I can set it down. Come on, there you go. There you go, Arthur. And then you gotta go. I gotta get some cover scent lotion on. Hello? Covered scent lotion? There we go. And now we wait. Again. For something. Yo, what is that screaming, man? You hear that? What the fuck is that? Alright. 
any takers so far? No, it does not appear so. We'll go a little bit further away, probably up here would do fine. Oh shit. Oh shit. How do they know it's me? Oh! Because there's bounty hunters nearby. That's why. God fucking damn it. You know, all I wanted was a buck pal. That's all I wanted. But, no, here we... Ah, oh, shit. This is fucked. We're so fucked. They have the dogs. They have the goddamn dogs. We're so fucked, dude. Holy. Oh, wait. Not go down. They would not go down. Okay, I don't. I don't want that one. I want. I want the John Marston one. I want the one that looks like John Marston. I don't find a buck here in Cumberland Forest. No, less. this is gonna be kind of embarrassing because I searched this shit up. This is the biggest area that you could find buck in. There has to be like one buck around here somewhere. Come on, give me like one. One three star, that's all I need. One three star buck. That's all, I'm, that's all I'm asking for. I'm not asking for world peace. I'm not asking for... Okay, I guess that's what the game wanted me to know. Come on, Harib. I'm sorry, bud. I'm sorry, bud. I know. I know. You took a tumble. You did a bit of an oopsie. I'm sorry. I apologize, sir. Yeah, like like Arthur said, it's okay. It's just a scratch. It is but a scratch. <gasps> Buck? Buck? No, it's a fucking bull elk. God damn it. Fuck, dude. I was fucking convinced there for a second that that was a fucking... Even if it was a buck, it wouldn't be a three-star buck. We have to find where the buck are. I guess the chip here, the buck's wouldn't be the big fat ones. The bucks would probably be on the leaner side. White tail buck. Okay, here we go. Yeah, so they're they're on the leaner side. And we can find them around here. That one's a one star. So they basically just look like, I mean, obviously, bucks are just deers with antlers. But... Genuinely thought some of them got taller or bigger. That's a three star bull elk. Um, yeah, we need a three star buck. That's what we need. I swear to God, if I find it and I lose it, like if I fumble the bag, it's gonna be so heartbreaking. We're in the right area now. Should be. Big horn. Let's 
see if this This guy's actually going into the fucking tunnels. Are you kidding me? It's still okay, so it's still the same. Herb. Really? Really? We're in a fucking train tunnel. You, you, you can't keep yourself... You, you can't... Keep yourself at bay for a couple of minutes here while, while we're we're in a train tunnel. It can't be that stimulating. Oh my God! We have b -b 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 bounty hunters. You know. This is just what I wanted today. This is just... I wanted a, I, I wanted a buck, but instead I got bounty hunters. Yeah. Okay, no, seriously, where... Le buck, where's le buck? It's a fucking three-star bull elk. Where is the buck? Man. got the belk, we don't have the buck. We got the fucking belk, we don't have the buck. God motherfucking damn. God motherfucking damn. We have the belk, we don't have the buck. No, seriously, where are the bucks? That's a bighorn sheep, dude. Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? Fucking Batman. Where do they go? That's a, f That's a white tail buck, but it's a one star. Thank you so much. Three star. I need a three star. I don't want a one star because I need perfect pelts. I can't have, you know. Poor pelts. I can't have normal pelts. No, I got a perfect pelts. Is that a buck? I need your money, tough guy. <laughs> Try nothing dumb. Ho -ho! Are you that desperate for a beating? Give it to me. You are Dude, can I grab this guy? Grab this guy. Grab this guy. Oh! Oh, it's just a two-star white tail. I shouldn't have really killed him over that. Actually, technically. He's still alive. He's fine. He's fine. I only beat him up. He's still alive. He's still fine. Yep. Sir, domestic assault... or sir, um, assault is still considered harming a person. I don't... Bighorn sheep. I don't think you should be, I don't think you should be slapping the target employees. Yeah. No, where the fuck is this guy? Where the motherfucking hell is this motherfucking guy? Is this motherfucking elk buck? Sorry, I keep saying elk, man. I keep saying elk. God, motherfucking damn.
do it. There's got to be buck around here somewhere. Come on. I just want a three-star buck. Can we do that? Big horn, big horn. None of those are the animal I'm looking for. I swear, when you're looking for one specific animal, shit instantly goes downhill. Even for something seemingly as simple as this. Like, dude, just find a buck. And Kill it, yeah, but where the buck? I'm literally in Buck Central and I cannot find any. I found three, and none of them are the perfect ones that I'm, you know, actually looking for. So. It's another big horn. God damn, dude. Big horns, what are you doing? Big horn. Uh, come on. Oh, there's a there's an entire fucking other region of the map I'm not even exploring right now. Let's go check out this part of the forest. See if there isn't any uh There's gotta be at least one. White-tailed deer, white-tailed deer. White-tailed deer. White, okay, it's still the same one. Oh, oh, it's the bunch of guys I killed earlier, okay. <gasps> Buck! Get over here! Get the fuck over here! Thank you! Alright, we have all the essential ingredients we need to make our health tonic satchel. Took a little bit longer than I thought it would, but. Alright, we can just stow this underneath. Yep. And then we can go back over to Pearson, donate all this shit, and get our tonic packs, tonic satchel. Which will be. Incredibly useful here. When we go to buy um, more tonics, but yeah, we did it. I am like a pig in shit right now. Holy. Oh! Oh my god! Yeah, not anymore. Dude is on like one health. Enough with you. You're going to eat shit. You're going to Oh, no, you did not just do that. You did not just do that. Bro knocked the pelt right out of my hands. Hey there. So is he just not going to react to So, so he's just not going to say anything about the... Okay, 
about the guy that's like beaten up in the. Okay. Oh shit. Alright. What the fuck do you losers want? Assholes. You assholes. No, fuck you. I was gonna let you live, but no. You fucked up my horse. You fucked. You, no, 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 no. We're not doing this. Nah, dude. You fuck with my horse. You fuck with me. It's the stream rules. Excuse me, Herbie. I gotta go take care of this guy. I gotta go take care of him. Oh, that was extra disgraceful. I didn't even mean to do that. I accidentally pressed B, too. So I shot him, and then I... <laughs> How are we doing, Mr. Hon Honest Anonymous? Um, a little bit, you know. I don't listen to it too much anymore, I don't really have the time for it, but... Actually, I shouldn't really say that. It's not so much I don't have the time for it so much as I, I'm just not really into music anymore. I'm not going to make up some bullshit excuse. I just, you know, it's not so much I don't enjoy music, it's just I don't listen to a lot of it anymore. You want to talk about music? I'm all ears. I don't really care. Yeah. You can talk about music while I go back and take these pelts back so I can actually make my satchel. It'll, uh... It'll make the time go faster, if you will. Second, I, I'm gonna finesse this guy. Oh. Okay, maybe not. What the fuck was that? Okay, you know what? We're gonna. Just... I feel like a numb nuts, but are you for real, schizophrenic? Um, no, I'm not. Um, what happened was I was trying to think of a good, um, I was trying to think of a good title and I thought, and I thought that would just be a way to, you know, bring in views because, you know, a lot of people are now using schizo this and schizo that in their memes. So I figured, why not just make a, but no disrespect to, you know, anybody who's actually a schizophrenic. That's not what I meant by the series. I just, you know. It's the only way I can really describe the. It was the only. It's the only way at the only way. Only way at the time I could really describe. Um, describe the kind of videos I I made. So that's what I titled it. So. Oh 
Okay, maybe I should move on. I don't think robbing this was a good idea. Sorry, it's just satisfying to use the semi-auto. Yeah. Don't need to cock the hammer every time you shoot it, you just shoot, the, you just pull the trigger. It's a wonder of engineering from the time. It is a wonder that this thing even managed to come out. Like, look at this, look at this. Gas-operated shotgun in 1899. Somebody would have seen this and they would have fucking fallen over. Because usually, shotguns at that time were, um, you know, they were pump action or double barrel. Most, most likely double barrel. Most likely double barrel. But, I mean, I mean, just look at this. You only have two shots, and they're not even as fast. Okay, maybe they are a little bit faster when you, when you do that, but you only have two shots. Semi-auto, you get five, and they're just as fast, if not faster. Alright, let's get the Evans out. Yep. We almost have the satchel. Almost. Just have to ride a little bit further, and then we'll get there. how far Shady Bell is from the Grizzlies until you actually have to do the distance. Ooh, okay. Shotgun in shotgun and pistol combo goes kinda hard. Yep. Or sawed off and pistol combo goes kinda hard. Literally, that first guy was toast the second I pulled the trigger on that sawed off.
Hold still, girl. What? Take it easy with that stuff. This is taking it easy. Okay, Pearson, where are you? My table awaits your offerings, Mr. Morgan. Actually, I'll come back to you later. Mr. Okay? Morgan, bring me some materials, and I'll be glad to make something nice for you. Oh, I have. To, I guess I do have to donate it. I I need to get my I haven't received anything from you in a while, Mr. Hello, Morgan. All right. Many thanks, Mr. Morgan. Abigail. If you're struggling for space in your satchel, just bring me the right materials, and I'll work something up for you. There we go. You know, Arthur, I can always make you a new satchel if you're tight on space. Hello, Arthur. You know, Arthur, I can always make you a satchel if you're low on space, you know. Hey, Arthur. Nothing? I don't believe you. It's just a little robbery, all right? Nothing serious. Good. What are you robbing? A stage. There's a stage coming through. According to the fella I met, it'll have a bunch of money aboard and no security whatsoever as it comes up the river trail between here and Catfish Jackson. Okay. Well, it sounds worth investigating. You and, uh, who? I don't know. I, I thought I'd do it on my own. It'll be unprotected. Won't be a huge take, but I should make out okay. There ain't no such thing as unprotected. Now, who you want to go with? I guess you. Now? I don't need no hand-holding offer. Oh, come on, kid. <laughs> But if we decide to do it once we've had the look, I'm taking half the money. Of course. All right, let's get going then. It should be on its way right now. Seems like only yesterday you and me was shooting our way in here to rob those fools. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'll be glad to leave this place behind if I'm honest. Got a bad feel to it. At least it's got a roof. You've got a roof. Of course, I'm outside with the junior. Oh, you ain't even 20 years old. This time will come. Follow me. I saw a good spot for an ambush. So who's the fella that told you about this? It's a sound lead. I told you. And what did he have to gain by giving you this information? You mean, did I give him money or a gun? You're just gonna have to trust me on this one, Arthur. Okay, okay, I do. Just make sure we get our weapons out of here. And I think this will be like the last mission we do for the stream here, so I'll Forget shut it, it down after this and we'll call it there. For three years. I've been waiting to get on my uh, on my five on one of my 5M servers because it's been down like all fucking day. Hopefully it's up again. But I want to hop on there with some friends and uh, shoot the shit. We don't do like the fucking cringe RP or anything. It's a fucking cops and robbers server. It's actually pretty pretty cool. It was like GTA Online if GTA Online was actually any good. So, we'll rob here with Mr. Lenny, we'll call it there, but let's not get too ahead of ourselves. By the way, if you just joined, uh, feel free to go back in the VOD because we're almost done here with this stream. We're going to rob with Lenny, we're going to do the stagecoach rob, and uh, yeah, we're going we're, we're gonna to end the stream. So, I appreciate everyone who bothered to uh, show up.
I, holy shit, the minute I, the minute I want to quit the stream, everybody shows up. Holy shit. <laughs> Dude, I might just stream for another hour. If we we can keep three viewers, I'll stream for another hour. Fuck okay, it. here we are. I don't care. Easy. Let's leave the horses off the road. Twenty years in the can. I wanted Manicot. I ate grilled cheese off the radiator instead. I wanted to fuck a woman. I jacked off in a tissue instead. You get where I'm going? Seems good. The sage should be coming up the river from Cactus Jackson any time now. Compromise. You want compromise? There it is. The people who don't know that's a Sopranos line probably uh, probably just left right now. So they're not real fans if they don't know what that is. All right, that was pretty simple. I mean, they, they popped out of the fucking wagon. I popped their heads off with the shotgun, and we have money now. I'm telling you, it was good information. Wait. Look. Holy shit, I'm getting, like, likes up the edge. Hello. Hello. Thank you. I appreciate it. do this all the time. Set up traps to catch fools. I appreciate it. I feel like a fool. Well, that's good, because you are a fool. He's still alive, so don't worry too much about it. Come on, get out of here before any more turn up. All right, see you back at camp. Can't feel like I can't feel like I can't help but feel like Arthur is talking about himself there when he talks to Lenny. You know about oh, you are a fool. He's talking about himself because he sees himself in Lenny. Not like that, of course, but he sees himself in Lenny. Anyway, that's going to do it for today's stream. I appreciate the attention on it, everybody. You don't know how much that means to me. I mean, dude, my recent Breaking Bad fever post has gotten, like, 400 views so far. And it's only been, like, one day. That's unheard of for one of my videos. So, I appreciate that. More than anybody realizes, you know. It means a lot that people check out my content. So... Thank you for liking the stream. Thank you for subscribing. We, we've made a net positive today of like three subscribers um, in the stream. So, uh, dude, we're, we're doing very well for ourselves. Appreciate you guys' time. Thank you so much for watching. And um, until next time, uh, you know, this has been Bull. I'll see you later. Take care.
Oh, and um, by the way, uh, just one more, just one more thing. Uh, if you haven't supported my Ko-Fi yet, um, that's where my donations are. If anybody wants to have their name up as like you know credits, you know shit like that at the end of every single one of my videos, all you gotta do five dollars, your executive producer on one of my videos. I think that is a good deal. So anyway, I'm gonna end it here. Thank you so much. See you guys later. Take care.